I hear my back door opening. Is it an yes, encyclopedia sure. salesman? What? <laughs> the door opened and I said, is it an encyclopedia salesman? I recognize the voice Burglar. of that encyclopedia Burglar. salesman. Burglar! As long as it's not an encyclopedia. Come say hi. We just... And Shark. Hi, kids. I was hey, going to say Mark. Mark. How's everybody? Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. We're, we're better now. Oh, <laughs> we are. Yeah. I, I put on my I put on my wig and I put on my. Oh, sh I shouldn't have said recording. It. Oh, recording. Hold on, wait. Not least. OK, so here we go. <laughs> All right. So team number one, who shall no longer be called team number one, Brandy, Deborah, Jane from California, Kathy, Kathy McKenzie and Robin. So what are you guys going to be called tonight? <coughs> where are the where are the groping vapors? Oh. <laughs> where are the groping vapors? No, no, we are. We are. I mean, that's we not part the of the name. are the groping vapors. Well, you can no, actually just, just it's about it's groping vapors. Groping right? vapors. It's, it's just groping, groping vapors. vapors. Put it in the chat. What what the heck is groping vapors? Mm. I'll do it. I'll put it wow. in the chat. Okay. Somebody has not been watching any reference there. I thought you want to stuff that was timely and you know, oh, news oh, oh, no. uh, That was so I, I, Bobert, Bobert, Bobert. Bobert. I put mine in me. too early. I'm sorry. Oh yes, but the but the controversy is is continuing to Bobert. roll on. Oh, yeah. not enough. Is, is there a controversy? How is there a controversy that she didn't do it? <laughs> oh, no, no, she 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 claims she made a statement and claims that she was so anxious about being in a new environment that. That led to her, you know, doing those things. Uh -huh. well, we could remove her from some new environments and take her out of the Senate. I mean, the House, that's not <laughs> a house, problem. I don't please. want to get her all stressed out or anything. And so and she also, um, you know, um, the when the press asked for the, the video to be released, well, that's when, you know, the everybody knew about the, the vaping and her being loud and everything, but then all the groping stuff came to light. So... Yeah. It's well, been is fun. There, is there good <laughs> is there good coverage of the groping? Because I've seen it, but it oh didn't look like it was really odd. Oh yeah. It's, 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 it's both, good. Both, both ways. Both ways. Yeah, yeah uh, that's true. It's a sad new week when groping is not specific enough. I thought it looked like she's just reaching is. over to him to get some popcorn or something, and he was trying to reach over to like <laughs> some no. popcorn. So there might have been a bug on her shirt or something under his testicle. That was common, all right. He says, yeah, what does not look like a, sound like a uh, hen house. Okay, wait, wait, don't listen too much again for a second. Bill, Jamie, Jaime, <laughs> Leonard, and Robert. Well, yeah. with Leonard on the team, how could we not uh -huh. do this? Uh, Osiris says farewell, Benu, hello, Earth. Osiris? Osiris. Osiris, Osiris says farewell. Benu. Ben Who? Benu. Benu. Who's Bennu? Who's Bennu? An asteroid. It's, it's an asteroid. Oh. Sample okay. return mission is imminently going to land back on Earth, and we're going to have, uh, yeah, the uh, Andromeda strain. Sorry. Okay. I'm still, still, I'm still worried. Asteroid, huh? that's, a, that, that's an actual thing I'm that's happening worried. in the real world <laughs> yeah. that might well, actually so is, mean so something. So is Lor uh, Lauren Bober getting groped. Except for the, the last news. part. <laughs> it might actually mean something. Brian, Jane from Oregon. Carl and Peggy. I put it in too early, so it's above. It's avoid the curse. Don't mention Rupert Murdoch. Wink, wink. Oh, oh, yes. Ah. <laughs> so, if uh, Peggy, could you please explain that to our two new people? What that means? Um, well, I, why I, 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 I tried to. About it? I tried to mansplain it to Brian earlier, but he already mm -hmm. knew. So I feel silly doing it again. But we have a tendency to mention, especially people of the older persuasion. And then worry that we might have killed them because they die soon thereafter. So. Oh, I thought they were just entertainers. Let, let's be honest. Oh, we killed Betty White. They're all entertainers. No, no. Peggy we're branching killed into, Betty White. Uh, I killed Betty White. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Peggy's problem. So. so I'm just trying to manipulate the curse a little bit. I'm pretty sure we have been limited to entertainers previously. So this would be branching out. Oh, well, he's okay. an entertainer because he ain't no yeah. newsman. I'm, you mentioned Trump a hundred times. No, I did not branching. 
We mentioned Trump a hundred times. I did a category and he's still alive. I'm sorry, but I want him to go to prison. I do not want him to die. I, that would be the easy way. I want to Well, see. he should die in prison. Now, that would be great. Yes. Now, there you go. Fine. Well, actually, our thoughts and opinions on the matter will not have any impact. I'm I sorry, know, Karen. I'm, yeah. I know. Oh, Karen, be you know, of little faith. <laughs> she killed Karen, you've got to believe. You have to believe Carolyn, Gail, Janine. For some reason, there's just three of you guys on the team, but that's okay. I hope we're like, going to get some more people. Yeah, um, we are. You can tell it's Fetterman's body double if he wears a suit. <laughs> uh, he looks pretty sharp in a suit. I've seen him in a suit. A suit. That's his body double. Yeah, probably. Okay, Adrian, Cindy, Cat, and Kevin. Okay, so I put it in the chat really early. I'm above Peggy Hill. Trudeau is seeking the Sikh Slayer. Oh. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. I didn't see it, it either. Again? It's way, it's above Peggy. I'm not seeing it. No. I think I you sent it to somebody specific yeah, instead. Yeah, somebody's yeah. got it specific with. Yeah, not to everyone. I don't see it either. So Trudeau, the guy from Canada, is seeking a Sikh Slayer. Oh, because of the, he says that India... Killed somebody in there. Assassinated someone on their in their land. Wow. Yeah. That's like, wow, I wouldn't have put that on my bingo card for the week. Not at all. Can you put that in here? Because there's no way I can spell that. Okay, Mark, I think we got our team names. Quicker, put it in this thick. Thank you. I was lobbying for body uh, for the team name. Does anybody know why? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I know why. Because it's the 21st of September. There you go. Badia, dancing in September. Badia. Oh. oh. <laughs> Today is the day. Okay, so here comes Mark. Okay, so, here comes Mark. Okay, so sh sh don't influence him. Hey, the team <laughs> names today. You're picking the, using your psychic powers. Come here and use your psychic powers. <laughs> I have to come closer to you. I want you to be on the, I want you to Mark, be. Mark, Mark has to be on the phone to use his psychic Don't look powers. over here. This like the old days. Okay, but don't read this. Because this is, well, okay, I'm going to read it to you. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay. Uh, you can tell it's Fetterman's body double if he wears a suit. Versus, don't mention Rupert Murdoch, wink, wink. Because we think we're going to try to kill him off if we say his name. Okay. Uh, Osiris says farewell, Banu. Happy hello, Earth, which is an asteroid that's flying away. Don't explain it. Just or groping vapors, which is the Beetlejuice thing with uh, well, work. And the last one is Trudeau. Trudeau is seeking the Sikh Slayer. Trudeau. Trudeau is seeking the Sikh Slayer because in Canada they have. What it. was the second of the last one? Uh, groping vapors from uh, Lauren, Bo Lauren Bobert. No, I like the cosmic one. Osiris says, Yay. Hello, Earth. Hello, Earth. That's it. That's Mark? it. Yay. Hi, Mark. Okay. Hi. That, let's see transition. if his prediction is true. That's He's been about Bill, right about half the time, I think. Jamie, Leonard, and Rob. No pressure or anything. No pressure, guys. Okay. Here we go. So we've got five categories tonight. Thank you guys for joining me. This is game 180. One in the year of our Lord 2023, September 21st. <laughs> La -dee -da. La -dee -da. She's programmed to say that. Never liked that song. I but, love that song. <laughs> okay. Um, there. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our categories, our people who have our categories. Brandy over there in Las Vegas is going to lead us off. We have no idea what she's going to be doing today. And uh, after Brandy, it's going to be um, Rob. Followed by Peggy, followed by Gail, followed by Kevin. And after Rob, we're going to have a break. And then we'll come back and do announcements. And then we'll go on to uh, Peggy, Gail, and Kevin. So, Brandy, it's all yours. I've even given you your powers. Oh, gee, I got to remember how to do that. Um, so, I got a little excited for spooky season. So, the category is bats. Ooh. And bear with me because I only have one screen. Bats is in baseball or bats is bats in, in deflated moose. We we'll see. <laughs> we'll find out. Right. I gotta mute everybody, right? No, uh, Adrian can do that. They're giving oh, hints okay. about bats already. All right. So number one. 
And you're muted, Brandy, because I muted everybody. So make sure you turn yourself on. Thank you. All right. Number one, weighing less than a penny. What name is the world's smallest bat commonly known by? And you have three to choose from A, hoary bat, B, bumblebee bat, C, little brown bat. Now I can't remember how to pronounce these. So what is the fear of bats called? Do you want me to try and pronounce them? I'll sound like Susan. <laughs> um, Sanguivorophobia. Yes. Uh, B, myotisphobia. C, chiroptophobia. All right. I'm going to do three and four at the same time. So three, which of these bats, or which of these was an older English name for bats? A, flutterby, B, air mouse, or C, flitter mouse? Four, what disease is wreaking havoc on bat populations, killing over 90% of northern long-eared little brown and tricolored bat populations in fewer than 10 years? Is it a, white nose syndrome, B, rabies, or C, histoplasmosis. Five, what is the largest bat species with a wingspan of five feet, nearly the size of one brandy or Janine? Is it A, big brown bat? <laughs> oh, sorry. B, Yuma myotis, or C, flying fox? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you start measuring people. You wouldn't think nuts. it was funny if it was coming after you. <laughs> I'll say, so, you know, you're not big enough. You're not as big as a Janine. <laughs> The first episode of the new Scooby-Doo movies featured the three stooges who had a pet bat with what name? A, Harry, B, Dingbat, or C, Foxy? Have you got them in there? I can't find it. Yeah, it's number six. She's putting two at a time. Yeah, that, that oh, confuses me, Brand, Brandy, just because you don't usually call a movie as episode, so first installment or the multiple movies. What does That's that a mean? Perfect question. I think it's a brilliant question. Well, I didn't go into uh, Star Wars Episode Four, Five, Six. That is mm. true. <laughs> You've been scolded. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but they, they, who they, would ever know anything about those? That's weird. Nobody's ever heard of this. Life is Bob. weird, Rob. Life is weird. Sometimes. All right. Seven. On which continents are vampire bats found? Would you, can we just name one? Yes. Um, let me continents. see. Let me remember my answer first. Yeah, you can just name one. Um, in one of the continents. Yeah. Bats. There are two. Um, Okay, number eight. There are almost 1,000 species of bats. How many of them are considered vampires? Give or take. No, plus or minus? Uh, no, don't give or minus. No, no plus or minus. Okay, so nine. When bats echolocate to find prey, approximately how many sounds do they produce per second? A, 58 to 62, B, 158 to 162, or C, 1,520 to 1,620?
And then number 10. A main reason baby bats do not fly until later in life is due to the fact that their patagium is not fully developed. What is the patagium? All right. All right. Do I send them to their room? Yeah, would you please? I got to remember how to do it. Um... Just say poof. Good job, Brandy. These are good questions. And we've never had a category in bats before. Very nice category. 181 games. That's a lot. No, 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 Thank I'm you. in five. In. Thank you. Which one are you in? I'll see your name. I'm in five. I left and came back yeah, in. You're in five. Where is Karen? You can put me somewhere. No, put, no, take, in... give, send Kevin and then we'll worry about me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kevin is in five. Why am I not seeing your name? Who were you with? I I I wasn't with anybody. Oh, you haven't been with anybody. Oh, okay. Well, then they're going to want to because there's... Your braids look adorable. I managed to braid them. I thought, I'm going to have to call Karen. They look beautiful. Nice so up. shiny and silky. So much better than Joe Bob, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're on four. You can tell it's you can tell it's Fetterman's body double if he wears a suit. That's where you are. That's where you is. Have fun. Four. Okay. Um, so the bats are in the, um, order Chiroptera. Mm -hmm. So I would say that Chiroptophobia would be my most, um, likely. However, my myotis is a bat related word. The myotis is a genus of bat, but I think Chiroptera, Chiroptophobia is probably the right answer. Gosh, that, 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 that works for me. Too. But people know yeah. it's amazing. You don't think a bloodsucker? A would be a phobia. But They're associated that's... with vampires. Um, that is possible. I, I, I will be. I'm easy, I'm can be persuaded. What if you think, think about? It? If you think it's the fear of blood sucking, um, that certainly sounds like a description of fear of blood sucking um and the fear of bats may the word may precede all of the scientific words so i i'm you might have been tricky uh, yeah be a trick question well these are, these are all up for debate yeah i think Love didn't we have the um flittermouse last week on a, a a question about like German or something. German animals? No, just German words for things. I think so oh, Kathy, maybe it was the for reason it. why I'm in your room is because Brandy is out of your room. So I get to go right. into the room where whoever's reading the category. So I mm -hmm. go to all five rooms. Gotcha. This one's being recorded and nobody else is being recorded. So uh -huh. where I go, it records. So that's, Susan, that's do you my, remember the flutter mouse again. thing? You know, I'm thinking about a mouse, uh, uh, thinking about bats. It's, why does flutter by feel familiar? Oh, uh, because it's just the backwards of butterfly. I, I yeah, I like flutter by. Um, really? Except yeah, why? You call them mice. I mean, like, a mouse I think in the common? I, I think flutter by refers to butterflies. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's familiar because of the butterfly. You're probably right. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it could um, be a you know, the, the German word is Flatermouse. So yeah. Um maybe it's it just, just like a variant on Flatermouse. Yeah, the way a different way to spell it, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. I, that's what I, I, that's I would, what I, think I would vote for Flitter Mouse. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And pretty sure the disease is the white nose syndrome. Was that right? I think Robin? it is too, because I think the other two diseases are pretty endemic in bats and don't really kill them. Yeah. yeah. I just heard a big segment about this on NPR the other day. So it, I know it is white nose syndrome. Okay. Oh, excellent. Yeah. yeah. It's been around for a while. Poor, poor little, I know. Poor little bats. Well, thinking about a flying brandy or flying Janine is kind of... <laughs> Oh God! Here comes a flying brandy. Here she is. Oh my gosh! Five feet. I've never heard of a bat that big. Oh yeah, the flying foxes in Southeast Asia and Australia. It's a flying fox. It's a flying fox. Okay, I heard yeah, they were you, big. I just seen those <laughs> pictures, those scary ass pictures on the internet of the the flying fox hanging upside down. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. on the side of the house. Yeah, so but like, but but you oh, can't really no. tell how. Can oh, you tell huge. how big they're they are? huge? Okay. All right, Susan's the Scooby Doo fan. Oh, I haven't watched any of these new movies. I didn't even know that the <laughs> I didn't even know that the Three Stooges are still making movies. So, um, yeah. we would think it would be Dingbat, wouldn't it? Or I would it think so. That's what I, I, I thought it was. It's just such a gimme that Brandy made it up, thinking that we would fall for that. It's actually right. Scary. I yeah. I was I was liking Dingbat also. Me, yeah, me too. Well, with the Three Stooges, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, what continent? Con Sweet. Transylvania isn't a continent. No. no. Okay, true. so um, vampire bats are found in Central and South America. So I would put South America. Yeah. Um, they are also probably found in North America. They're found in Mexico. Maybe even into South Texas or Arizona. Is uh -huh. that why those aliens look like that? <laughs> well, Maybe. I mean, why not the mexican uh um dried up alien things children <laughs> I heard Rob, they, they were on the skeptic zone i was just listening to the episode and it was richard saunders and rob palmer talking about it and apparently they're like 18 inches long there's no scale on the picture you see but they're only 18 inches long and um, where where are these pictures coming from they're actually i think mummy, mummified children aren't they or something babe what was what are, are they you really? talking about the aliens yeah what are they really one of them, I saw one of them was a cake <laughs> yeah it's a i don't know it, they said it was constructed out of stuff you know i mean it was like one of them had a brain case of a llama and you know it's just oh so they were some, created something somebody constructed it's okay so it's, they weren't I, uh, I thought it was some kind of you know mayan thing that they had just Later out with somebody okay that makes sense how many how many vampire species is i there? think there are three vampire species okay that um, there's about one that's right quite common and two that are very rare okay. hmm. cuz i was going to say based on her reply that there wasn't a plus or minus that it was possibly just yeah, one but would you just start to no say there's kathy? more than one there's more than there's one more vampire than one? species yeah okay. okay kathy did you say something about that number I think that's a good number. I was going to say two, but I bow to the biology major here. <laughs> uh, and then how many sounds? I, I'm going for the high number probably, right? Yeah, at a high frequency. Very, yeah, very I would high. imagine. Yeah. I I don't know the answer to that question, but I would guess. See, I wouldn't be so. I mean, I would have thought maybe it was even higher than that, but. I mean, Those per second, only though, that's a per lot second of is it's pretty high. Second. Yeah, but no, most, of, it's, but it's, it's totally most of it high. is beyond. Most of it is higher than we can. Um, than even, we can yeah, hear. We can't even hear uh, hardly any of it, right? Yeah, and so well, I'm we saying 158 few, might be a better number. It's still a high number. I, I'm willing to go with either B or C, whatever the vote is. Here's Jamie and Caspian. Where am I going to put him? Where, we does, put them? Is Jane we here too? To that stuff? one. Jane's right here. She's right there. Oh, okay. I, I have my thing kind of reduced because I've got the screen share on. Um, all right. So, or this one maybe. Huh? All right. Okay. And the main reason the baby bats don't fly till later in life is due to the fact that they're something patagium. I would call. I would pronounce that patagium. Patagium. 
the patagium on a bird is the the leading edge of the wing mm, okay and um what it is on a bat i'm not sure well, is I'm, it I mean, it's something that that helps them fly. It's probably that skin flappy thing that. That's what I was thinking too. I don't know what you call um, it. I'm I'm definitely willing to go with that. Okay. okay. How about wing wing skin. Wing skin. <laughs> yeah, there we go. How's everything going, Brandy? How's it? Right, I was gonna go ahead and uh, call people back now. Yeah, because you'll get oh, that. Okay. okay. Yeah. If All I right, so we got to talk about for sure uh, number nine. Do you want to switch it to one fifty eight? I don't want to say the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> we all say the wrong I, thing. I, I think it's a lot, but we just gravitated to that big number, thinking it's the biggest number. Okay. But Sometimes you should go with your gut. Well, my gut is getting bigger every moment, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a good. I I. I just, right. 1,500 seems like a little, I mean. Yeah. Okay. Does that get? Catch mosquitoes. Yeah, do we know about any other animals? I'm sure mosquitoes are really high. Mm. What I about mosquitoes? Something that they I have the a lot of. I watched anything about them. So what do you the, know? There's, there's like a lot of different, it's, it's the, you know, their wings beating or something. Oh, and, yeah. And it's you can't hear individual sounds out of that. You just hear the the buzz of the wine. So, but we're good. We're good. So we have it's little brown really bat, chirophobia, fleur mouse, white nose syndrome, flying fox, sting bat, South America, three species, one fifty eight to one sixty two, and the the skin for their wings. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, so not everybody uh, Susan, does a screen share like this. This is some people do, some groups don't. Yes, it Robin. depends on the question. Mm -hmm. Robin, and then, I'm and spending then, my okay. weekend getting my photographs ready for you. Oh, good for you. Um, You're gonna do. And I have a, I have a special motivation to do this because the Little House on the Prairie Museum in Desmet, South Dakota, wants my pictures, and I want them really? to have my pictures. I have pictures for Little House on the Prairie. Uh, we have some relatives from that area, and we have pictures of people like Cap Garland who are in the books. No, oh, really? Yeah, and I've got tin types. I want you to look at them. Yes. Oh, that's exciting! It's a band. It only costs you one million dollars, Robin. <laughs> I will pay you a fair price, Susan. Okay, whatever you think is a fair price, we'll we'll arm wrestle over it. On we Tuesday, can, we can discuss it for a hamburger today. For a hamburger today, hey, did I just see Caspian and Jamie show up? Where are they? I saw them. Oh, look, there's Caspian. I'm here. Jamie is dog sitting. She's sitting on a dog. No, the dog is probably sitting on her. Oh, how big is the dog? So the dog is Caspian sitting. Oh, uh. uh to put it one way, I think if the dog and a truck were to run into each other, the dog would win. Wow, that's a dog. So she's sitting on the Is dog. it right Clifford? I Is it like the heck of a dog? dog? Is it a big red dog named Clifford? <laughs> No, but it is a dog named Ruby, which are known for being red. So you're close. Oh. Yeah. I'm pot psychic. That was a good cold reading. <laughs> well, yeah, well done. <laughs> well done. He's learning. He's learning. The, uh, getting lot. something about a red dog. Yeah. I'm getting something about a red <laughs> dog. Name, is, Ruby. You you got Clifford, right. the big red dog. Okay, Brandy, good questions. I think my team did quite well. So do you want me to just paste them in the answers? I think, I think you should just give the beginning part of the like question. Just say, okay. Like sort of the first one was uh, this weighs is less than a penny, and the answer is blah. And then just if you want to do each answer one at a time, that's fine. I'll paste them in after then. Yeah, but just say what they are so that we have the recording has it. Okay, so number one, weighing less than a penny. What name is the world's smallest bat commonly known by? That is bumblebee bat. B. 
Yay. Yay. Not so good team. Okay. Mm. Was that what we said? I can't remember if we oh, said that. No, we had little brown <laughs> little bat. Little brown bat. All right, so number there two. There is a little brown bat, but it's bigger than a bumblebee. <laughs> what is the fear of bats called? It is C, coroptophobia. Yay. Damn, Ooh. we talked ourselves out of that we one. We talked ourselves out of it. Which, no, no, which, we didn't. That's our answer. While we did not have a category about uh, bats before, we did have a category about phobias, and that was one of the answers. Ooh. Oh. And oh, Karen remembered. Wow. That's what's amazing. She remembered that is amazing. All that stuff. <laughs> what, what are the other two? Or are they just totally made up, Randy? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> no, I can tell you uh, the cut. Was it Chiroptophobia? The uh, gene, uh, bats belong to the order Chiroptera, and the Myotis mm. one. There's either a genus or a family of Myotis bats. So yes, that really was hurt. it. So I made up B, uh, but I think A is like a fear of blood or something. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. A, I, I think we I, I think we did settle on A, Deborah, because we were going well. It's got to be a fear of blood sucking. Mm. Well, I didn't change it on our thing. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm looking at. I'm it. not sure what our final team is. <laughs> I think Stranglevor was... means eating blood, so it's a fear of vampires. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thank you. Yeah, I don't recall. I did this a while ago. <laughs> As opposed to everyone else who's just fine with vampires. <laughs> <laughs> if they were real, that would be. Have a you reason. seen Some Twilight? The opposite Karen. in their feelings towards vampires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. True blood, etc. Number three, which of these was an older English name for bats? And someone gave away my answer. Carl. I, like I said, I did this one a while ago, and it is C. Flittermouse. Carl. <laughs> well, he didn't. I no, I said German word. The I German mean, word is Flittermouse. <laughs> Our so team's was close enough. Enough. I remember this from last yeah, time. Yeah, Deborah yeah. recognized. I it. said, "Oh, that was a German word, wasn't it?" Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah, remember. I should have waited, different. but I was like kind of proud that I actually did a category. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, number four, what disease is wreaking havoc on bat populations? That is a white nose syndrome. Who cat? Clean all your shit before you go from one cave to another. <laughs> And number five, what is the largest bat species? It is the flying fox, C. Yeah. And the first episode of the new Scooby-Doo movie with the Three Stooges pet bat, that is B, Dingbat. Yay! 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 All right, Rob. <laughs> Very good. One with my yeah. instincts. That's what the Three Stooges would name their bat. That's what I thought, too. Did you know they were still doing movies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they work for Thomas John. Thomas John. I didn't realize that they were still doing movies. I'm, I'm there, were no, there were no men on our team, so we didn't get it. Okay. <laughs> Scooby-Doo is a cartoon. It's not real. Oh, yes. Hence the humor, Kevin. <laughs> so number seven. <laughs> on which continents are vampire bats found? So I will accept either Central or South America. Mm. Oh, okay. not Transylvania. But Central's not Central. Central, but Central America. America. North America. Central America. North America. Central America is part of North America. Yeah, right. And they're they're found in Arizona. So there you go. Yeah, I think you could definitely have bats all through Mexico and up into maybe even South Texas and South Arizona. So, so it's all the Americas. So if you put North America or well, what America, about Europe? What about Europe? Europe. No, there are no vampires no. in Europe. Absolutely not. Ironically, <laughs> none in yeah, Pennsylvania. Only, 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 vampire only vampire people. Only real vampire people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> only vampire people. No yeah. vampire bats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So number eight. How many um, vampire bats are there? Uh, there are three species of vampire bats. Yes. yes. Well oh, done, team. Well Bill. done. We should have wow. the first three. Yeah. Step yeah. With it. Okay. Oh. All right. White, hairy, so number, and plain O. Number nine. Um, how many sounds per second do they produce when they echolocate? It is B, 158 oh. to 162. Oh, thanks, Susan. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. 
<laughs> Everybody, you're paying attention. We're recording this. I have a question right. Okay. <laughs> that is it. I don't have to do anything else for the rest of the year. That is all. No, all. no. Yeah, I'm not, I'm up next. You gotta get them all right. Oh, right? oh, 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 <laughs> well, it depends on what you better not be country and western songs again. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> all right. So number away. number 10. The main what is the pedigeum? Um, that is the skin on the wings. Oh there yes. We go. Like the webs, right? Right. right. Yep. The, yeah, we put yeah. webbing on wings. Okay. Yeah, that would wings. that's yes. fine. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Okay, fantastic. Good Not job, bad. Brandy. I, I want you to do another one here in the next few weeks because that was really good. That was good. Yeah, well done, Brandy. Thank you. Um, okay, so we have Trudeau is seeking the Sikh Slayer. We got six. And, and I think we got seven. Oh, we, do we? Oh, yeah, we missed two, seven. Oh, wait, you're right. We got six. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got six. No, it's good to double check. Thank you. It, you can tell it's Fetterman's body double if he wears a suit. We had eight. Ooh, some fat people there. Ooh. Don't mention <laughs> Rupert Murdoch. Wink, wink. I think we got 10, thanks to Carl. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Although I knew one of them. And I gave you Caspian. That was and we, we just kind of guessed on the dingbat. <laughs> okay, Os Osiris says, farewell, Banu. Hello, Earth. Osiris. Osipicus. Wow. Farewell, Earth. Hello, mm. Earth. I said it while you were still talking because you were going on. Eight. <laughs> oh, you asked me and then you kept talking. Eight. I was trying to say it right. You got to be used to that by now, Rob. Myself, Rob. <laughs> I, I mean, come on now. How could I embarrass myself? Well, you got oh. milk duds stuck in your hair right now. <laughs> <laughs> milk duds are right here. Thank you very much. Okay. Roping vapors. That was, we have that was nine. Bad. Ooh, that's Ooh. good. That's wow. good. Brandy did not tinker. Nice score. No. So we've got a well, score. We almost had 10. 10. Wink, wink. Well, this is good. We planned it right, team. Very, oh. very good. Good job, Brandy. Okay. We played it right, team. Yeah, All we'll right. get the I'm new people. I'm yes. stripping your powers away from you now. Robert? Okay, Robert. so this is something I don't think we've done anything like before. This is travel distances. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Are they in kilometers? Otherwise, I'm going to protest. I, I have them in uh, <laughs> in miles or kilometers. Woohoo. And How I'm about say it that way. Sorry, what kilometers. Uh, kilometers. So here's the thing: in each question, to earn a point, put three of the four destinations in ascending order. I guess I spelled ascending wrong. Of distance from the specified city. Wow. Ooh, me what? Huh? <laughs> that's three. That's three things per question, Rob. No, I it's an, it's an order. It's an order of things. It has to be in order is right. So yeah. don't don't exactly. complain because I was originally thinking you need to put them all in order to get it. But I'm giving you three out of four. Just get three out of four. All right. So uh. so so leave one out when you're not sure of, and just put three in order. And then I'm going to read the order. And if as long as you got the right order, you're good. Number if we one. Got any one of the three in the right order? We yeah, have that makes no sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Darn. <laughs> Good, good, good try all right all i'm right. gonna mute everybody three two one just want to point out if you're muted and you want to unmute you can just unmute okay so number one is new york city new and york gonna, city and i'm going to give you the range the range is 337 to 100 and uh, 1014 miles when i give you the answers by the way i'll give you it in kilometers also but I, I just, I wrote the range in uh, miles. And uh, New York City too, Minneapolis, Nashville, Orlando, and Toronto. And uh, I put the four each time in alphabetical order, just so that's the way that is. So we're supposed to put them. All right, closest to New York City, one, two, and three. Oh, I four. see. Like if you were on a, if you're driving from New York City, what cities would you come into? Yep. No. no, well, not driving. No, this is this is a if, it's straight line. On Who's glo closest to the, glo the global straight line around the around the sphere? So it's how a plane would fly, basically, if it could go straight. 
and there wasn't some reason it was i'm i'm confused oh. because oh um it's, it's a great sir it's the great circle route i think that's what it's called so as we yeah. go closest I, next closest next closest yep. furthest yep but okay. you're not but that's not a straight line that's going to be like well, a zigzag or a yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... We're not traveling to all. Yeah, we're not traveling. So yeah. it's like just going. Line. The distance to each one is from New York. Is from New York, right? Right. Okay. It has nothing okay. to right. do in relationship. And so it'd be like other. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. So yeah. like one of those airline maps that shows where their destinations are. Little, little line the numbers, numbers on. They actually did this. You can do it easily. You go, you go, just call up Google Maps and you click a city and you say, and you just draw a line in a club and it draws that line and tells you how long it is. Yeah. Okay. So we don't get a point if we simply remove the one or call out the one that does not fit in that range. No, that that range fits them all. It is it is literally the closest one and the furthest one of those four. Damn. So one okay. of these is ten a thousand. Yeah. So we put them miles. in order, and if we get three out of the four correct, we get a point. That's oh, correct. Put That's all right. four don't put four. Just pick three. Drop just one. Pick out. three. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm making that this, a little. It's only 181. Number two. You can do this. Washington, D.C. Did you pick Washington? Two. Buenos Aires, Madrid, Quito, and Rio de Janeiro. And number three. Closer home for some people out there. Los Angeles, Albuquerque, Las Vegas, San Francisco, and Tucson. Number four, Oops. Anchorage to Los Angeles, Orlando, St. Louis, or Tokyo. Five, Roma to Berlin, Copenhagen, Madrid, and Paris. Six, Tokyo to Anchorage, Mumbai, San Francisco, and Sydney. Seven. Cape Town. Two. Cairo, Lima, Lisbon, or Sao Paulo. Number eight. Spell Peru. Oh. Oh, he's speaking of that the nation next to it that stinks. <laughs> Number eight, Calgary. Uh, uh, uh. Calgary to Atlanta. Calgary. Is that how Fairbank, you spell Calgary? Miami, Only if it's multiple. <laughs> is that supposed to be Calgary, Alberta? Calgary, or is there Alberta. another Calgary that I'm not aware of? That's a different Calgary. It's spelled wrong. Yeah, spell? that's totally not spelt correctly. There's a Y in there somewhere. No the, idea last, that is. the last letter should be a Y. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're just giving you a hard that, time, Rob. And I after E, and then it's. So I picked that one for Adrian, and I got one for Richard, but it's not here. So Sydney, two, Antarctica, and this is uh, since there's no cities, just the closest point on Antarctica, Cairo, Johannesburg, or Manila. Ah, oh, we get all our folders from there. <laughs> no, me too. What a coincidence. And number 10. They make good flavored ice cream too. This is for Jamie. Bangkok to Hong Kong, Myanmar, uh, New Delhi, and a little place that's been in the news occasionally in the last three years Wuhan. Wuhan. Jesus, Wuhan. this is hard. Oh, geez. Yes. Okay. It could take a really long round. Wow. I love this. Okay, so this, this actually looks fun now that we understand. Good luck. Good category. Make this go to your rooms. Somebody sending people? No. You're supposed to. There you go. Thank you. Yo, team. Okay. Oh, what a, what a fun category. Clever. The you first, I think hard. The world, Jamie, you know these really things. hard. Yeah, I think I know some of these. These are very good. Number, so, number, number, number one. Toronto is number one. Toronto first. It's, Toronto's closest and Minneapolis yeah. is farthest. So what's the middle? It doesn't matter. Oh, pick, pick either. I do not yeah. think Minneapolis is the farthest. I thought Orlando would be. No. You think Minneapolis is further than, than Orlando from New York? Yep. Well, I think the easy thing to do is to take Minneapolis out. 
No. And let me finish. I beg your pardon. <laughs> let, let me, I think the easiest would be to take Minneapolis out and then say from New York in increasing order, it would be Toronto, Toronto, Nashville, Toronto Orlando. Nashville, Orlando. So it takes out any ambiguity of Minneapolis. I, I'm, I'm positive Minneapolis is the farthest. Okay, say um, let's say Toronto. Uh, is there anything Athens? wrong with the answer I gave? Uh, I don't know about Nashville and Orlando. I don't know which. Got to be farther. kidding. Yeah, Nashville's in between New York and Orlando. Well, not not you know not directly, but yes. You know, by distance. So uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, Nashville's got to be closer than Orlando, and so yeah, we drove there. And Toronto yeah. is going to be really close. Yeah. Well, if we say if we say Toronto, Nashville, Minneapolis, then you got it for sure. But they have to be in order. That yeah, is, that is the order. Toronto, that is. Nashville, yeah. Minneapolis. Yeah. Then it's guaranteed. Then you'll get you'll get it for sure. Uh, I gotta put. Oh shoot! Oh, he's gonna have to go on five. Sure. Yeah, that that works too. So that works. Oh, Susan, you're taking notes. No. Someone Who's needs taking to notes? take notes. I'm not the I'm a female here. I don't have to take enough flipping notes. <laughs> We've had secretarial work for way too I've, long. I've got I've I, only, I, got, I've one only got one screen, so me too. Me okay, too. so what is it you're putting? What's the answer? I have an iPad. Toronto, Orlando, Nashville, Minneapolis. So we're two. saying Toronto, Toronto Nashville, Nashville, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Okay, so we're taking out Orlando. Okay. I'm okay. Oh, so this. Oh, I know. Who's taking notes? Leonard is. Oh, Leonard. Uh, oh, thanks. Again, I've only got one screen. We'll just write out this paper. <laughs> I, I don't have one of those either. Oh, oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, the woman who's prepared will do it. Okay, Toronto, okay. Nashville. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. That's good. So Very Rob clever Rob. category. Excellent. Okay. Um, number two. It's hard. That's a tough one. That's a hard one. Um, um, DC to Madrid is not that far. It's right across the Atlantic. It's pretty close. Yeah, because Madrid kind of goes out. It sticks out. Right to just go east, and you're there. Well, Quito is due just is due south. In Ecuador. Yeah. But that's far, isn't it? It's pretty far. You have to go through Mexico. And but Rio, Buenos but Aires is further. Is even farther south. So let's do Madrid, Ecuador, and Rio de Janeiro. Buenos, Buenos, Buenos Aires I'd, is really far. Like it's I'd, way I'd south. Buenos like, Aires farthest south. Okay, so what did we put down? Madrid and is Quito, the closest, Quito. right? So Madrid, Quito, and Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is the furthest. Rio de Janeiro is closer. That's in Brazil. And Quito is Quito. closer than that. Yeah. So Madrid, then. Madrid, I, Quito, I, I and Buenos Aires. Okay, I would leave out Madrid because I don't know uh, how far it is across the Atlantic exactly. And, it's got to uh, be close. That's just a few hours to fly. Well, no, it's about, well, to London, it's about five hours, five, six hours. Madrid is, is like... Is, closer. is due east of uh, New York. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm saying it would be close. It's pretty close. It's pretty. It's not that far. It's got to be closer than than uh, Ecuador. Ecuador has got to be heck of well, Yeah, but if you leave out Madrid, the American ones are pretty pretty easy. Uh, Quito, Rio, Buenos Aires. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That's good. You think okay, you're guaranteed? Okay, so I'm gonna put leave out Madrid. Okay, so we're gonna do Ecuador, Buenos Aires. We're going to do Quito, Buenos Rio, uh, Rio, Buenos Rio, Buenos Aires. Okay, Rio, okay, next. Rio. Buenos Aires is really far away, south in Argentina. Okay. Okay. Got it. Excellent. Number three. Um, let's see. Focus LA, is, Vegas, Vegas, that is far. Vegas. Vegas is, is Albuquerque. Yep. Yeah. So you can say um, Vegas, then Tucson, then Albuquerque. That was, yeah. yeah, I lived in Tucson. I've never been to Tucson. 
Nice. I've, been, I've been to the others though. That's where my wife was born. And that's uh, where I that's where I grew up. Tucson. Okay. Not yeah. Tucson's and, okay. And closest to Tokyo, I believe. Number four. Four is. Oh, Anchorage at sea. Um the closest is probably Tokyo. That was my, my guess also. Um Orlando's really far. Tokyo, yeah. LA, Orlando. Tokyo, LA, St. Louis, Orlando. We yeah. we only need three. So yeah, I know. So Tokyo, LA, Orlando. Tokyo, Sounds good to LA, me. Orlando. That'll that work. Yeah, that works. Um, number five. Roma. See, um, Copenhagen's far. Probably these Missouri are all pretty close. close. That's not a very big range. No, seven hundred to nine hundred. I think Madrid would be farthest. Oh, I thought that would be closest. Italy to yeah, Italy to Spain is nothing. It's right. Just hop over to. It's just go all west of here. Europe is tiny. Yeah, but Copenhagen is further away from than Berlin for sure, and Paris. Yeah. Paris is closer than Berlin to Rome, so um, Paris, Berlin, Copenhagen. Paris is closer than Berlin to Rome. Let's see. See, Paris, you have to go um, northwest. Berlin is just straight up. Oh, I think see. it's also northwest, but it's mostly north. Yeah. Is Copenhagen um, the farthest. Yes. Yes, Copenhagen okay, is the farthest. So we got that. Um... I thought Madrid would be closest. I think I've been to Madrid and it is. It's not that far from Rome. Um, yeah, this one's really hard. The Paris is, um, that's a tough one. I would say Madrid, Berlin, Copenhagen. What do you think? Rome to Madrid. It's between, wow, what, 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 yeah, what's further, away, what's closest to Rome, Madrid or Paris? Madrid has to be closer. Paris is way up there. Madrid has to be closer to Rome and Paris. Paris, Paris is, is much further north, much further northwest. Madrid I'm is. I'm just um, looking at a map of France today, but I, and I looked at where Paris was, but I didn't look at where it was in conjunction with any other parts of Europe. So I'm trying to think about how that would. Um, yeah, because I'd fly on business. I'd fly from Rome to Madrid. It wasn't a very long flight. I would say Where? Madrid, Berlin, Copenhagen. Okay, what do Madrid? You think? Uh, I, that, this, this one's really got me. Uh, what do you say? They're puzzled. close. Yeah, the distances are not that far Paris. from each other. Copenhagen. Madrid, Berlin, Co Madrid, Berlin, Copenhagen. So you want me to leave out Paris? Or you want me to leave out Berlin? Leave out Paris. Leave out Paris. Okay. Yeah, Paris is, is, that's a tough one. It's almost a straight line. Between Rome and Berlin, Copenhagen, there's almost a straight line going northeast. Okay, Tokyo. Madrid. Let's see. Um, um, Mumbai is really far. It's pretty far. San Francisco is not that far. Um, Sydney is way the hell. It's, it's further than people think it is. Um, Tokyo. Okay, so San Francisco. Probably Anchorage. Anchorage is probably closest. Yeah, That's Anchorage is certainly closer yeah. than San Francisco. And then, um, Anchorage, San Francisco. Let's see, Sydney. I would say, actually that's what you that I think that's the easy thing to do is Anchorage, San Francisco, Sydney. Because because yeah, Sydney is a lot further than people think, and there's Sydney no question that both of them are closer than. That both that both yeah. that all of them are closer than Sydney, and there's no question that Anchorage is closer than San Francisco. Yeah, so that's Anchorage, San Francisco, Sydney. Yeah. Yes, that's I don't a very think good. Rob answer. thought of this when he <clears throat> find this. This yeah. Australia is further than people think. This. My daughter lives in Melbourne, and it's a long flight. It's like nine or ten hours from Melbourne to us. So oh. it's, it's much further than people think. It well, is. that's because as the flat Earth you know expands towards south, it takes a long time to get there. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
We're good. Okay. Number so, seven. So, okay. What do we got for that again? Anchorage. San, San Francisco. Francisco. Sydney. Sydney. Uh, I think Sydney's closer than San Francisco. Sydney, Australia really? to Tokyo? Yeah. It's not, not by very much, but I, I think because it, it's well, none of these are by very much. It's only three and a half thousand to five thousand, so none of these are, are by an enormous amount. Tokyo to Sydney, Sydney, but Mumbai all the way at the bottom. Yeah, and well, I know, but it's what about it's less than five thousand miles. San Francisco is more than five thousand miles. I flew from Hong Kong, from Brisbane to Hong Kong, and that was about five hours. That's all? Yeah. Oh, I was in Brisbane. Brisbane's really close. I mean, it's- Oh, Brisbane is on the north. Yeah, it's up there, up there, at least on that side of Australia. Mm -hmm. And Sydney is like, Three hours from Brisbane. Um, from Hong Kong. So so Sydney to Hong Kong would be like eight hours of flying time. Yeah. Something like so that. So what do you Gosh, think? I can't even remember. Do you think Anchorage, Sydney, San Francisco? Yeah. Okay. Sydney, San Francisco. Okay. Do that. Anchorage. Sydney, San Francisco. San Francisco. Okay, guys. Number seven. Number seven, Cape Town. Seven. Um, Egypt is closest I, to South yeah. Africa. I, Cairo, San Paulo, uh, Lima. Lisbon. Oh, uh, Lisbon is Lima? in Samora, but I, 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 I'm, I'm saying Cairo is closest, Lima is farthest, and, and flip a coin for which one we put in the middle. You think Lima is? I'm trying to think. Really? It's on the other side but, of South America than it's from San Paulo, Sao Paulo. But Sao Paulo is, is quite a bit further south. Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo is, is Remember, we're going from Cape Town. Southeast. Right. Yep. Lima is on the west is on the west side. Of, yeah, it's on the so west coast, closer. right. So yeah. Lima is closer than Saint, Sao Paulo is way out on the west side. Are you? So, uh, I, I was going across the Atlantic. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so, so Cape, go, Cape so Town to Sao Paulo. Cape Town, Cape Town to Sao Paulo is uh, less than Cape Town to Lima. Cape Town to Lima. Oh, you go straight across the Atlantic. So you're yeah. saying right. Cairo, San Paulo, and Lima. That's my that that's you're my suggestion. That? Yep. Okay. Cairo first. Calgary. Calgary to Atlanta. Calgary is okay. So Miami's farther. Yeah. Calgary to Fairbanks is closest. Miami is farthest. Fairbanks, Alaska. I've never been to Fairbanks. Um, I think that would be closer. And and I don't think there's any question Toronto. that Atlanta is closer than Miami. Yeah. So so were we leaving out Toronto? So, so I I would say the easiest would be Toronto, Atlanta, Miami. That works too. So leaving out um, and uh, Fairbanks. Leaving out Fairbanks. Okay, Sydney. Um, you go to Antarctica from New Zealand, and Sydney's, Sydney's pretty close to Antarctica. Yeah, Sydney is close <laughs> to New Zealand. That uh, so, Sydney and New Zealand are are uh, right in the same latitude, and so yeah. Um, Manila is kind of close to Sydney. I mean, well, my brother used to fly from uh, Christchurch to McMurdo quite a bit. He was in the Navy. Where's and, McMurdo? Huh? Antarctica. San Antarctica. Oh, yeah, I'm not um, sure how that that oh, helps. Shit. Well, it, well, the thing is, they flew Her Hercules. Oh, well, we have to hurry. It's only 120 seconds. We no stories. 
Okay. We've got uh, two minutes. Okay. Uh, for... I, I would say Antarctica, Manila. Oh, see, Manila is, is really close to Sydney. Really close. I would say Antarctica, yeah. Manila, Johannesburg. Sure. Yes. I, Go with that. Yep. Okay. And Bangkok, number 10, Bangkok. Bangkok, Bangkok uh, Myanmar. Myanmar. Myanmar is the closest. Um, yeah. Wuhan say, and Hong Kong. Uh -huh. oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm writing it down so you can change it in the next 70 seconds. Okay. Okay, so, so wait, 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 Antarctica, Manila, Johannesburg, right? And then yes. the next one is Myanmar, Myanmar, Wuhan, and Hong Kong. So we were Bangkok to, to Hong Kong is very close. Wuhan, um, that's a tough Wuhan. one. Wuhan's farther south than Hong Kong. No, Hong Kong is on the southwest side, the southeast. It's way on the coast Hong on the Kong. southeast. Wuhan is more, is, is north. Wuhan is north of. You have 36 Hong Kong. seconds to tell me what to write down quickly. Okay. Jamie, you call it. Oh, I don't know. Um, the world, hurry. This is hard. Myanmar, what did you say? Myanmar, Wuhan, Hong Kong? <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. How about yeah. Myanmar, Wuhan, New Delhi? Well, for sure. Okay, Myanmar, Hong Kong, New Delhi. That's for sure. Okay, Myanmar, Myanmar, Hong, Hong Kong, New Delhi. Okay. Good job, team. Try that. <laughs> Rob, I don't know if you realize there was a lot of strategy in this. Oh, uh, yeah, I knew that. Really interesting. Make so, pick three. Yeah, I wish you'd given us time to get it done. We did it. We did it. Yeah, that was really three short. teams. Were, three teams were three teams were ready. Yeah, we were okay. Well, there we were teams that weren't. We, we we just barely made it. Okay, go ahead and make that change on the last one, Gail. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't does have anybody. Does anybody want? Two Nobody's minutes? getting more time in this. We're already late. All, right. all the same amount of time. Wait for Please, I'm, use your time wisely, people. My cats are hungry. I have to go feed them. All right. I have to go so, to bed. So, yeah, I think <laughs> this would have been a lot more difficult if I had done it the way I originally thought, which you had to get all or, four in the right order. Oh, yeah. Because, that was, oh, yeah. goodness. Yeah. So uh, that would have been definitely being against able the rules. The hard one was all, made it a lot easier. Yeah. I yeah. agree with Adrian. Yeah, I think so. So, I think there's going to be pretty <laughs> high scores here. Okay. So, yeah. uh, in order from New York City, it is Toronto at 337 miles, Nashville 757, Orlando at 931, and Minneapolis over 1,000. Okay, we got them. Yay. Yay. Excellent. All right, number two. It is from DC. Uh, Quito, which I went to, was a long flight, uh, 2,700 plus miles. I also went to Madrid, 3,790, Rio de Janeiro, uh, 4,807, and furthest Buenos Aires, over 5,000 miles. Okay. With the kilometers in the chat for Adrian. <laughs> and the rest, and everyone not living in the United States. And who gets kilometers? Number, <laughs> I don't get it. Number three. Cat has a question. Oh, Cat is saying her too. Number three, LA to Albuquerque. Oh, uh, no, that's wrong. Sorry. That's the question. That doesn't help. Number three. <laughs> oh, Albuquerque is All right. Four. So number three is Los oh, Angeles to everyone knew Las Vegas was closest because you've made that trip. <laughs> two, 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 eight. San Francisco for. 348, Tucson 436, and Albuquerque is the furthest at 659. Wow. So Las Vegas, San Francisco, Tucson, Albuquerque. Albuquerque. I knew uh, I should have seen that. Right uh, that Albuquerque. Albuquerque. That's the trip we did after Psycon last year. Number four. This is from Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, let's see. Closest here is. Los Angeles. A lot of people weren't sure about that. Mm -hmm. right. 2,400 about. Yeah. St. Louis, 2,900. Yeah. Tokyo, 35. Oh. And Orlando, oh, is the furthest at 38. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised. Oops. We didn't do so well on that one. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought Anchorage was closer to Tokyo than that. People thought that. Yeah. Number mm -hmm. five. 
This is Rome to all of the uh, capitals in there. We got Paris is a close. Oh, oh about right. that or Berlin. <laughs> Pretty close. So Paris, oh, no. very close. Berlin, 729. Madrid, 848. And Copenhagen at 900. We got Copenhagen, right? Oh, we got the two of those. Oh, oh it's on Madrid, you're closer. Huh. Next we one is the distance. Four, and we needed to choose three. Where? How did the... Where, oh, wait. Okay. We took out Copenhagen, mm. so... Yeah, yeah, we did. So. Mm. Number six was from Tokyo. So this is Anchorage closest at just about yep. 3,500. Mumbai, 4,200. Sydney at oh. 4,900. And San right. Francisco at 5,100. Good job. We're rounding off there. For people listening i'm putting the oh, exact numbers tough. in the chat yeah. number seven which was from south africa cape town we have san Paulo at 3900 cairo wow. at 45 oh lisbon at 53 yeah. and lima at 6000 rob you should have done korea with uh the the map from matt the signs from mash <laughs> which one did which one did we take out on that one. Who are you talking to? Uh, Gail. Oh, she's muted. We had that one backwards completely, Janine. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Number eight, Calgary with a Y. Mm, <laughs> Fairbanks is closest. I, I don't think people got this one right. At 1,500. Mm. Toronto at almost 1,700. Atlanta at 1,900. And Miami at 2,500. Okay. Cat knew that one. Yeah, if you if you ignore Fairbanks, the other three are all. Yeah, if you take out Fairbanks, which is what we did. Mm -hmm. Good strategy. Number nine. This is from Australia, Sydney, Antarctica. Close, the camp of it's closest to Antarctica of anything else. Twenty three hundred miles away. Manila, yeah. thirty nine hundred. Johannesburg, sixty nine hundred, and Cairo at uh, almost nine thousand. We got it. Far. And lastly, for Jamie, <laughs> thank God. We made the call on this one, by the way. I know. If we said you're number happy. ten, no, no, no guarantees. From Bangkok, closest is yeah. Myanmar Ooh, at six hundred twenty-eight, yeah. Hong Kong a thousand eighty, Wuhan at about fifteen hundred, and New Delhi at about eighteen hundred. Yeah, you got, got it. it. We, we got, got it. it. We took out there Wuhan. We Yay. Good job, Jamie, on that one. Yeah, it would have been better if we could have taken Wuhan out before 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Get extra point on your team for that joke. That's good luck. <laughs> I don't wonder how close China was to just taking out Wuhan to call the problem. <laughs> yeah, you got it right. Of course. Yikes. Yeah. Okay, good job. That was, no. that was interesting. Excellent. I have a feeling he's going to do this again. Clever. Very so you start at your uh, maps from now on. All right. <laughs> Here we go. So I gave you Lee. Lee came in and there was no fighting over him because there was a team that had six. <laughs> yay, Lee. We Otherwise, it, it was going to be probably competitive here. So good job. <laughs> so, so you guys played it well to be able to mm. get Lee when he came there by giving us six. So I know you did it on purpose, right? That's right. Trudeau is seeking the Seek Sayer, Slayer. We got seven. Good wow. Job. Oh. All right. Let's go with uh, Thomas Betterman's body double yes. wears a suit. <laughs> we had seven, two. Mm. 72? Yeah, 72. Wow. wow. Seven, also. <laughs> seven point two. All so right. Let's see. Agent. Rob's team, which was saying goodbye to something and hello to Earth. To something else? Yeah. Oh, I have the score. Seven. Hmm. I had to keep trend. score because I'm the girl. Jackpot. <laughs> I'm the girl, so I had to keep score. Groping vapors. Oh, we had seven. six. Oh. Mm. Wow, look at all those 15s. Don't mention Rupert Murdoch. Wink, wink. So I don't think my team understood the answer rules. <laughs> we didn't know that we could take one out and still get it right. I don't know. Yeah. Did my team know that? It said it right. We the... talked about it. That's okay. Based on if you got three in a, three in the right order. Yeah, I, I would score us at seven. 
Okay. Okay. I, I think that would do it right. So yeah. yeah, we got three in the right order. So yeah. yeah. All right. Nobody's checking. Yeah. Okay. We're not playing for Actually, money. Karen, we would have gotten we would have gotten another point because we had one where we took out the wrong one. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Photo. Good. And if and if we uh -huh. cared about scores, that would matter. <laughs> yes. yes. There would be big tears. All right. So everybody look at the screen. Give me your best shiny, nice face. Should I put my wig up? No, I can't put my wig up. <laughs> Please okay. don't. No. <laughs> okay. Save it for trick-or-treating. Okay. One, two, three. Cheers. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's so nice to have a couple new faces in here. All right. Five minutes. Bye, okay. Okay, thanks for an enjoyable bye. evening, everyone. See you. Bye, bye. 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 Oh, bye. bye. See you, Brian. Take care. Right. Go nice talk about you when it's on. Susan, all you guys. Okay, take care. Carl. September. And the camera is still recording, by the way. I will be back. I'll be back. How's the uh, smoke down in the Salinas area? Getting any smoky air down there? Yeah, it's not pleasant. We're supposed to get a break over the weekend. But it's... Uh, the, the sky looks funny. We might get rain is what I heard. Yeah, on Monday, I think. You may get a little earlier. I think it's coming up from the south. Hmm. trying to remember who it was one of the congress critters was talking to pete Buttigieg, um and was just going off on this nonsense about global warming not being real uh asking stupid questions like what's the percentage of the atmosphere that's carbon dioxide it's too low. It can't have anything to do with temperature. Uh, and Buttigieg said he doesn't know the number off the top of his head, but that doesn't matter. Global warming is still real. And uh, Buttigieg talked about, you know, fires and, and all the things that are happening around the world. And, and this Congress idiot said, that's not global warming. It's just autumn. <laughs> God. I had it worse than that. I went to a restaurant and a guy was saying what you just said, Len, but he said, it's God punishing us. That's what he said. Yeah. I was like, I, I looked at him. My wife said, just let it go, Kevin. Please let it go. I was about to say something to the guy, but my wife talked me down. No, and there's, <laughs> only, there's only one thing wrong with people like that. They're allowed to vote. Yeah. Well, just keep hoping they don't want to take the vaccine, and then uh, one last. Uh... Unfortunately, it's not deadly enough. Yeah, you know, for it to help all that much, and and, and they'll wander among <laughs> other people while not having the vaccine. Yeah. No, yeah, you know, yeah. If you look at the statistics on deaths by state by political, it's it's just amazing. Yeah. Yeah, there is a significant correlation yeah. between how uh, how many people or what percentage of the of the votes went for Trump yep. and how many people died or per capita, how many people died of COVID. Yeah, I know. I, I showed her to somebody who's a very, very conservative friend and one of her, her 
one person responded with, you know, well, you know, look at Florida. There's all those fat retired people down there. And that's why they had so many deaths. You know, they're all fat and old. I'm like, ah, oh, jeez, come on. <laughs> you know, amazing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just, just astonishing. But all y'all know that everything's going to be fixed tomorrow, right? Oh yeah, what's, that's right. What, that's right. It's what's tomorrow. It's a rapture. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh the there, rapture's there, already there's happened. A, there's another one tomorrow. Well, it's either it's either today or tomorrow. Check I, with Jamie. It's already tomorrow. Yeah, I was gonna say, does the rapture like cascade over time zones? Oh well, yeah. Like they weren't really clear on the time. <laughs> Carolyn, I love your cat, and I've also noticed that there's a couple of other people here who have house panthers, and yay for the black cats. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Although ginger kitties are also very popular with me. <laughs> and her name is Ginger. Oh, hi, Ginger. My <laughs> <laughs> oh. ginger think cats can't come in because yeah, they're close. I, I haven't <laughs> looked recently, so I, I don't remember. But uh, there's a Wikipedia page of dates of rapture, rapture predictions. And they happen every couple of years. It oh is just God. remarkable how many there are. I know. I have a punch card, and I've survived so many. It's... <laughs> do, you get, uh, do you get something free after your 10th you know, or something? Get out of hell free uh -oh. card. <laughs> to get out of hell free card, right. Yeah, I'm confident that um, I will not go to hell. Yeah, we're I'm already in it, aren't too. we? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm <laughs> confident that it doesn't exist. So. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Though, though I hear LA is getting close. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen well, to I'm talks, going to hell so I haven't heard to, that. To quote, to quote, uh, religion. To quote uh, Rick Torn from uh, Defending Your Life. Yeah. I, uh... Has anybody seen the love object with Rick Torn yet? <laughs> No, no, you have no. not. I told you to watch it. It's amazing. Where do we watch it? What streaming I don't know. service? It's an old movie, and it's uh, done by a friend of Mark's, Robert Parigi, and had Rip Torn in it, and it's very dark. Hmm. You will not, you will not be the same after watching. It. So, you people who like that kind of stuff, all right, will not be the same in what way? Will be. Hopelessly depressed. Two hours Eight. older. Yeah, he'll be two hours older. <laughs> Take me to it. All right, here we go. So let's do our announcements and get right back to it because that's the way we do it here. All right. So, um, Rob, you've got a thousand things you're doing from what I understand. Do you think you could tell people a few things and give us some announcements on them? Oh, you're slightly exaggerating. Well, um, let's see. They didn't publish my uh, Teller interview yet, though that should come out any moment now. Maybe tomorrow. The last one I, I had up. The last one I had up was it's Bill just Nye. You talking. <laughs> That's not funny because everybody uses that joke. But so, if anyone on here has not seen it before, I think. Oh, the new one I think was since last time was the interview with mentalist Dustin Dean. Mm -hmm. I watched that. Very good. He's the YouTube sensation who's got like a freaking half Two, a million. YouTube, uh, TikTok, TikTok. TikTok. It is, it is astounding. I'm trying to do YouTube. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I confused him because I'm I'm doing uh, Professor YouTube. Dave, who has 500,000 uh, on YouTube uh, next. So, you know, it's, it's interesting that Barry has invited these guys because I think that's a really good idea. And both of them, somewhat are going to talk about how to get the message out there using the new, you know, these platforms it's quite it's quite amazing so uh yeah i just put the uh the column at skeptical inquiry which has all my recent interviews if anyone is new on here and doesn't know about psycon this is a good way to find out what it's all about so bill nye was Ugh. since last trivia i think uh, i thought it was this earlier the same day but yes anyway bill nye's on there and uh, that was a really interesting that was conversation terrific. he was running the interview he, 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 <laughs> you're interviewing him. <laughs> back to He's you great <laughs> back to you well yeah I, I actually talked to him he gave me a long time I, I talked to him for probably an hour 20 25 close to an hour very close to an hour and a half uh, but some of it was I had already cut the recording and and they didn't want me talking about certain things with him because of the screen actors guild strike you couldn't talk about any of his television stuff which is interesting so we talked offline a little bit about that what? Like, yeah it was quite fascinating uh and actually 
before he joined his and i don't know who this person is if she's his agent or a lawyer she talks like a lawyer and they were on zoom and she was in the background basically said i don't want you to talk about this i don't want you to talk about that uh, I was going to ask him just where the name Bill Nye, the science guy, it's in Wikipedia, but I want to have a conversation about, no, don't talk about that. It's like, okay, because the show was the science guy. That seemed odd to me, but, you know, he agreed with her. Just sound like he was just making her happy, but, you know. But anyway, Susan, the part I left the is about a half hour of interesting stuff anyway, so I hope you like it. <laughs> so anytime you mention his name, it gets my attention. Why? Because my name's Bill Nye, then. <laughs> so are close. you the well, science, science guy? guy. <laughs> so close. Hold on, I dropped the milk dad. Su Susan, what's the name of that movie again? Bill Nye, the milk dad. What? No, no, the 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 love one, the ripped movie. Uh, oh, it's the uh, love object. Yeah. Love the object. object. The love object. object. Alan's joining. <laughs> Alan's here. Hey, I had. Sorry, that took me a while. I had to rescue a milk dad. We can't have a milk dad. Ooh, it's a button. Oh, so the, the Wikipedia article was updated the last time I looked at it. The last time, or a year ago, two years ago when I read it, it said something about how he got the science guy name. And it says because he corrected the host of the show he was invited on before he was known as a science guy. He was just, he was just a guest. And um, I wanted to ask him that live because somebody updated the Wikipedia page. I wanted to make sure it was right. So we talked about it offline. I didn't record it. But it was, in fact, because the the host of the show was talking about electrical power, and he said gigawatts. And Bill Nye said, no, it's not pronounced gigawatts. It's gigawatts. And he goes, what are you, Bill Nye, the science guy? And that's how he got his name. But Because he pronounced it like Doc Brown. It's hysterical. I love the time I heard him is, being Isn't confused. that the right way to get all of your scientific information from <laughs> science fiction movies? <laughs> Apparently. What, you can only pronounce it that way when the value is 1.21. That's right. Hey, Gail was talking, Gail. I heard him being interviewed once and someone said, you know, I hate people always take a, take a different name and they don't use their real name. And he said, so is your real name Bill Nye? And he said, yeah, well, it's William. But he said, see, that's what I told you. People always change their name. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, don't you also have... Um... You just did a talk that's not up yet on Havana syndrome. With um, that other group in Baltimore, humanists. Yes, it's the first time I've done that topic. It was on Havana syndrome generally, and also, uh, well, specifically, and also mass psychogenic illness and mass hysteria um, more generally. Hi, Alan. So, yeah, that was for the Baltimore Ethical Society. I'll, I'll let you guys know when that's when that becomes. Okay. Available. I really like the talk you gave, uh, the interview you did with Richard Saunders on the Skeptic Zone. Right oh yeah, that was that was like the, uh, actually was right right after, right after trivia. trivia, right after trivia. Hey, you want, let's talk now. That was kind of cool. that was really good. It was a really good interview. Awesome. I think he, I think he was just looking to fill time because mm -hmm. he was. Busy I like and, that. Yeah. It really felt it felt natural, and I was remembering a lot of stuff that I had known. Adrian, right before the skeptic zone uh, interview was yours. Um, you went on a walking tour of Salem, Massachusetts. That was very interesting. That was a crazy place. <laughs> Sounds like you guys did a lot of shopping is what you sound like. We, I, we actually didn't go into the stores. Like, well, except for the one where they were making the witch's brooms. I did go into that one because it just looked like it was a really cool place. And it really was a cool place. However, I had this feeling all the way. And Rob and I have talked about this when we're walking through it. It's extremely whimsical and they're kind of having fun with it. And... All the time I'm thinking, yeah, but there were people who were accused of witchcraft and died here, mm -hmm. right? They were, mur they were, they were executed. And yes. so it was this huge sort of, well, this is a really fun place. Look at all these cool stores and it's really funny, but you know, maybe we shouldn't be laughing, but I'm laughing, but maybe I shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. That's I, went, I went there a couple of years before the pandemic and I was very conflicted because in fact, the first things we did in town, we had arranged it was to go to the museum and the, <laughs> and, the, and the redo of the trial. And so it was very serious stuff. And then we go outside yeah. and, and there are like all the stores are selling paranormal witchcraft stuff. Like it's yeah. real and good. And like, you should all get into this. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's, and that's and I think I did it the right way. We did all of the walking around into the fun stores, looking at the funny names, and there's lots of plays on words. And it's, as I say, quite whimsical and fun. And you feel like they're kind of balancing between the woo and the believer, the true believers and the people who just think it's funny and are going to buy stuff like I did. Right. Yeah, it's not like Loch Ness or something. There's some real harm that was in this town yeah. Serious yeah yeah exactly there was real yeah. harm so we did all the kind of funny stuff and i'm taking pictures and there's like witches all over the place and statues or not statues big skeletons modeling the instead of mannequins like there's skeletons with clothing on outside the stores and you know so they're really playing up on the whole oh it's getting near halloween yeah, yeah, yeah and it is getting towards <clears throat> halloween but i wouldn't be surprised if some of these stores have this all the time and then at the at the end of the walk oh. we did the the museum which rob talked about where they reenacted a, an actual they actually have taught it's the actual transcript so they actually just reenact the actual transcript so it's very sobering all of a sudden things really came down and, and then we went to the memorial of all the people who were executed so i did it in the right order <laughs> but at the same time even before then i was feeling this push pull of the whole thing mm -hmm. and it just felt a little off to me, but I what still enjoyed it. What was the memorial? Uh, they're, what they have, at the, it's at a graveyard. You're not allowed to mm -hmm. walk through the graveyard, but it's, and by a church. And they have a, a path where you walk along and there's these big stones oh. with each name and mm -hmm. what they were accused of in the date of execution. Mm -hmm. And it, you go along all the, there's 20 names. 19 were hung and one was pressed, crushed. which means they were crushed. Yeah. Essentially with rocks and, and people put fresh flowers on them. So there's on a oh. memorial, somebody has been going around. I don't know if it's just people do it automatically or if it's done by the community, but there were these lovely fresh flowers on every one of these memorials. And so you just walk along and you read each memorial and it's not it's not huge but it's not small either and so it's quite lovely it's really well done and it talks about how the uh the i, I did that in the podcast i read it out the little plaque that they have or a big you know big board that talks about how the justice system really failed these people mm -hmm. and you know how it was really really awful and yeah and, and yeah. the thing I was the thinking about while nurse... I was there is, is this was such a small event compared to the rest of the world. Like Europe had mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands yeah. of, of these things happen. And it's still going on in parts of the world, including Africa yeah, now. Yes. Africa, I, I miss what you first said. Was this Salem? Salem, Salem, yeah. Salem Massachusetts, yeah. yes. Yeah, Salem I've been there. Yeah, Salem, yeah. Mass. So Martha, Martha Nurse was yes. an ancestor of mine. Yes, and wow. she, she, her stone is there. Yeah. Oh, okay. We we saw her stone, and apparently her sisters were accused as well. I think, oh. if I remember correctly, uh, they weren't executed, but they were oh. arrested. And that was another thing that was very very sobering. Is at the reenactment, they actually oh. have in the basement of the museum, they've recreated the cells that these people were stuck oh, in. Yeah, and I'd it's like, just wow. They were like they were tiny, and they they would they said there were four to five people in there, and I it was hard to imagine one person in this thing. And they put would put four to five people. They couldn't even they couldn't sit down. They had they were so tight. They just were standing there. It was horrific wow. for days. Yeah, for days. Yeah, some of them died in prison. So if, you know what I would be interested in is if there are especially if we could think of other places that are like this that have that tourism frivolity. Uh, you know, obviously they're for money, you know, mm -hmm. to bring people in because that's all Salem is, is trying mm -hmm. to bring in the money yeah. um, in this area versus the true crime, the true, the true problem, not like Loch Ness, like I said, which is, you know, it's, it brings in tour, tourism dollars and so on, but there's not like a harm necessarily to have been to anybody i'd really like to see a discussion about that like a panel or a mm. or not a written not something written but i like the idea of something visual and even showing like those like you said the um the cell mm -hmm. just well, that i think course. that would be fascinating in this in our skeptic community not with an answer but just you know 
Gettysburg is that tour. way because right. Gettysburg, I mean, you know, oh, that's true. true when yeah. you go, there's ghost tours all over. I mean, the first time we went, there was a few ghost tours. And then once the paranormal TV craze went off, I mean, just everything had a ghost in it and everything had a ghost tour. And it really, even me, you know, back in the day, I was a, you know, a paranormal enthusiast. So it was cool the first time we went. And even I, the second time I went, is like, this has taken over the story of, of Gettysburg. This is wrong. Mm, um, yeah. because this is not what it's supposed to be about and that that bothered me it should be, it should be you know you could make a case that because that's what people want to see that's what pays mm-hmm. for the lights and the docents that and allows upkeep them to and be able to painting the building and upgrading these, these the rest of the restrooms and all that just stuff in the building so these were you know supposed ghost hunters taking you on a ghost investigation with little right people things so yeah. i don't mind if they kind of put some folklore or ghost lore in historical buildings like you said to help with the upkeep but these were just groups doing uh-huh. they were I, just I, they were just uh, exploiting it yeah, yeah. well I, anyway, i'm about an, hmm? i'm about I, an hour south of salem and we used to go every year the kids from i think a fifth or sixth grade they would go on a, on a field trip there yeah and, you were told to bring money to want to buy something, you know, from the gift shops. And we would see a couple of museums and the House of Seven Gables. Yeah. Mm. And the House of Seven Gables was interesting because it was really a place where they where they hid slaves and stuff like that. Yeah. When, you know, part a of the very different the history network. from the witches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was kind of interesting. But the rest of it was just um, and this was years ago, even you just go into the gift shops and buy, you know, a skull or yeah. something yeah. or a candle. <laughs> I think that I think that a, I think you could almost do a documentary on just this discussion of of tourism that's mm-hmm. exploitive of people's lives. You know, even the Lizzie Borden house. You know, Lizzie Borden house is uh, even closer to me. Well, that's what I I'm went saying. to school there, you know, and now a joke it's, out a, of it. it's a bed and breakfast. It's it's a rhyme joke, and, but her and they claim and it's ha- they claim it's haunted, but it's not. Of course, her stepmother and her father were brutally murdered and they're they're just mm-hmm. laughed at you know okay mm-hmm. anyway moving on because we'll be here all day even though i love this kind of discussion susan um, let me let me just mention one sure. thing um the talk i gave at the vintage computer festival west is now on the vintage computer festivals uh youtube page uh-huh. so if anyone cares and i can't imagine the they would like in the right? chat like in the chat the yeah, link, link is in the chat, chat. Very oh, perfect good. thank you very very good susan can i make an announcement sure um, for anyone who you, I think you mostly know that I'm a professional registered parliamentarian. Mm-hmm. And during the summer, I taught a class for the Ali program, and a number of people couldn't take it because Ali is a daytime thing, and they work. And this is designed for retired wow. people. So I, we have our local, our local unit of parliamentarians have set up a class. It's free. It starts this Sunday, and it, you can find out about it on Eventbrite, and you can get a ticket there. It is eight weeks, an hour and a half per session starting this coming Sunday. And it'll be exactly the class I did for, for Ali during the summer that Karen can tell you about because she was in it. Uh, it's online. And anyone who's interested is welcome to join. We have we, we have limited it to 25 people. But uh, as far as I know now, we are not up to that number, even close. And if you belong to an HOA or you want to learn about basic parliamentary procedure, uh, yeah. I, I, I'd make a PowerPoint for each class and I will email it to everyone who's registered. I would like to uh, offer a testimonial. If you don't already uh, guess this, Gail is a wonderful educator and the class is interesting, full of humor. And immediately I put it to work with groups uh, that uh, for whom I facilitate. And I want to attend just to get it in my brain again and hear the wonderful questions that come up, but it's really helpful. Robin on an HOA, Robin, (laughs) even though you're an attorney. I'm listening. (laughs) I would say Robin, especially if you're an attorney, because (laughs) the three years I spent in law school, it was only once that parliamentary procedure came up and the professor had it wrong. And I showed him why he was wrong. He realized I was right. And his answer to me was, so stop confusing the rest of my students. 
Uh, and the bar exam, the answer I gave is the right answer. <laughs> I, the parliamentary procedure was never once mentioned in law school for me. Good. <laughs> but one time you did it, it was yeah, they, they probably wouldn't have said it right. <laughs> I've got a copy of Roberts. Good. I bet Gail does too. <laughs> she's got it memorized. Look at she's got we did the trivia category. <laughs> we, my, we, yeah, we had a trivia on it, so we I all think she did have a trivia. trivia. I just want to make hey, a Ellen. It's, 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 we can't hear you. Public service announcement. Okay, Rob's got a. I mean, Carl's got a public service announcement. What is it? Uh, just in case anybody doesn't know, the CDC has approved the 2023 new updated COVID vaccine for everyone ages six and over. <laughs> And it is now available. CSICon is a month away. Now is the perfect time to get both your COVID and your flu vaccine. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to make an appointment. Thank you. Is I'm it by mine. Pfizer? Tomorrow, Pfizer tomorrow. or Moderna? Tomorrow morning. Oh, yes. Or either or. Okay. They, and they, Alan, have both. they have both of and, them. And Alan wants to make an announcement. Well, yeah, it's very brief because I'm just visiting. I'm driving. I, that's why I'm going to disappear in a second. Just to remind you guys, at this very moment, my child is on his way and probably there. He's going to the uh, skeptic, uh, was it the skeptic convention or QED. whatever? He's yeah. going to QED. 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 Yeah, QED. Is, that, is that in Manchester? Yes. Yeah. Manchester, yeah. Yes. So, so, stay, so keep an eye on Facebook or something. Hopefully he'll, he'll post some stuff. Oh, that's really cool. cool. And so he just published his paper. Ring, 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 ring. I am so jealous. I want to get QED so bad. We've got several of our team members from the GSOW project that are there. So well, I I I, I told him he he won't understand the word those guys say, but uh, <laughs> he, he probably he, better, he probably better understands German than the way they talk in oh, Manchester. Oh, he'll be fine. But, uh, yeah. He'll be fine. It'll it'll be a lot of fun. Um, okay, so I my announcement is. Um, uh, my announcement is that I got my channel because of uh, people in the community. I was at a, I needed 120, 125 people uh, to to join my my uh, YouTube channel to get to a thousand. I decided I woke up. I didn't want to ask people, but I asked people, and people responded in droves. It was so nice to see how many people shared <laughs> my post and gave me wonderful feedback. The only person who bitched was a medium that is somebody who um, I've done a video on. <laughs> so, uh, right, right, uh, Trump supporter, anti-vaccine medium who uh, was like, "What? You want money? I thought you had a problem with people." taking money for doing readings. And I said, I don't have a problem with people doing legitimate, <laughs> doing something legitimate and getting paid for it. <laughs> That's basically what I told her. Um, <clears throat> so she, she reads animals, so at least she can't. Oh read yeah, it. she reads animals. She, she's really into, you're right, Lee, she's really into animals. It, she, no, you should I, bring I, her up and have her read your llamas. Yeah. But <laughs> she's, so anyway, the point is, is that last night I was, trying not to fixate on this number but hitting a thousand on wicked um a thousand on youtube is a big deal because you're, it just changes everything it's like a big flipping flipping thing that happens on youtube in youtube um they give you you're able to monetize you're able to do these all kinds of things that it's just like as a all of a sudden you're being taken seriously kind of feel and things get turned on and so <clears throat> we all want to be turned on so <laughs> 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 the point is, is that it happened at last night. I was up and I was going, oh my gosh, I I, I wanted to do a, a video saying, hey, thank you everybody for, for a thousand subscribers, but I wasn't going to do it until it hit. But I was waiting to see what I was going to say. And I was trying to figure out my screen thumbnail and stuff. And darn it, if it at three minutes to midnight, I was at 999 Oh my gosh. I, I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm like refreshing the screen. And finally at midnight, like midnight and 30 seconds, it hit a thousand. So some wow. of them sitting around going, I'm waiting. I want to be near a thousand. Arlen in Vermont, he was like 996. He's like, I was trying to be a thousand. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing that? It's like three in the morning for you over there. And he's like, I know, but I want to be a thousand. So it was just really sweet. But anyway, so I'm at 
1026 this morning and wow no it's really weird but it just feels like all of a sudden you're you're a youtube influencer i know it's only a thousand you guys but i really do have an awful lot of views um and it, it's it's weird well so i think I emily d baker was at a thousand for a really long time and then the johnny depp trial happened and she went to six hundred thousand. Oh my gosh yeah so i don't know what could happen but something could happen seriously people i've had two people today send me this um this psychic in utah that was um giving information to somebody running for mick uh mitt romney's office and they went to someplace that was haiti they went to haiti because a psychic is telling them to go to this place in Haiti to recuperate this little boy who's been gone for two years. And it's it's all MAGA stuff. It's And now this guy, oh, anyway. So I was reading about it today going, what the hell, Mormon psychics? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the heck? That sounds like, wrong. That just sounds cats wrong. Cats and it's, dogs it's, sleeping it's, with each other again, you know? <laughs> there's so much about Mormons that, Psychic does not sound all that strange to me. Well, <laughs> you're probably right, but I just wouldn't have picked that at all. It was just kind of a strange thing. But anyway, so that was. Once you've got magic underwear, all bets are off. <laughs> yeah, so that was. So that true. I'm going to look into. So anyway. Well, they um, do have. They have profits. So in every generation is multiple. Well, profits. she channels so the you psychic are. channels a profit. That, that's so you're aware that them. the Mormon Church is a for-profit organization. Uh, profits for uh, profits for profit okay so let's get back to the game um i hope you guys are listening to skeptic zone and data skeptic and all those fun things but uh Hi. we'll be here all night i'm talking. afraid i have to go Hi, Alan. oh you. kathy bye it's kathy bye bye, Alan. Alan. Okay. bye kathy nice to see you again. Again. good to see, good to see you nice kathy all right all right yeah, so soon. yeah so now let's get started it's going to be peggy peggy what you got Hello. my relative that's right, cousin. <laughs> um, oh. So tonight we're doing movies about sports. It's not a sports category. It's a movie category. Because, you know, we don't do sports. Not much. Maybe dominoes or something. <laughs> Is that a sport? You can learn about, a lot about someone over a game of dominoes. Ooh, you know what that reference is from, you guys? Ooh, that's Caspian. the ABC Caspian murders, Caspian. right, Caspian? Agatha Christie. Oh, from, uh, My Agatha son Christie. knows is Agatha Christie. Okay. Good job. Can, can I? Do I have powers? Yes. Hey, Cass, why don't you do a category on Agatha Christie lines that nobody but me and maybe Deborah will know? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I'd rather have more country music from you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Thank you. I wasn't going to do it, but since you said it, I'll, I'll get the uh, next one. Thank you. We have another hey, time to do it from Rob. Do the same Len, 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 Rob. We particularly appreciate it. Peggy, if you do I'm one eager more to hear like that, your Rob, category I'm questions. I'm trying to find the mute button. It's on participants, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to mute everybody. And I'm not muted. Isn't that wonderful? That's because you muted us. I know. I have that. You did the mutant. <laughs> All right. So number one, I'm going to give you a year and a theme and the director. And you just uh, are responsible for naming that film. Number one, from 1986, a high school basketball in Indiana film directed by David Anspaugh, starring Dennis Hopper. And two... I'm going to do two at a time because we're late and it does take me a while to cut and paste here. So numbers two and three, two, 1973, baseball, weepy plot directed by John D. Hancock, starring Michael Moriarty. Number three, 2019, Formula One racing, Directed by James Mangold, starring Christian Bale. Go away. Go away, Pat. Chat. And then we'll do four and five. Number one, 
number four from 2011 about baseball, directed by Bennett Miller, all about saber metrics, based on a best selling book by Michael Lewis. Number five, 2002, soccer or football, if you live outside of the US and Canada, a British film directed by Gurinder Chada, starring Parminder Nagra. And six and seven. I'll do try to do three. Some of these are short. The chat. So we'll do three this time. And I can't see the first one myself. Number six from 1998 about long distance running in Oregon. Directed by Robert Town, starring Billy Crudup and Donald Sutherland. Number blah, 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 blah. seven, Football in Prison, 1974. Directed by Robert Aldrich, starring Burt Reynolds. From 1989, a baseball comedy directed by David S. Ward. Bob Euchre is hilarious. And nine and 10, oops, there's an answer given away there. I want to do that. Copy, chat, paste. Nine from 2004, Hockey, directed by Gavin O'Connor, starring Kurt Russell. From 10, number 10, 1982, Track and Field with a Lesbian Love Story, directed by Robert Town, starring Mariel Hemingway. All righty then. Any questions before you go to your rooms? It'd be nice to say we've done uh, I have a topics. question. Are you absolutely sure number three is Formula One Racing? Hmm. I thought it was, but maybe not. And as opposed to the 24 hours of Little Bonds? No, I think it's Formula it's One. It's Formula One. Okay. Formula okay. One. It has a lot of different races in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I'm going to send you to your rooms. Yay! I want yeah, to go to cool. my room. Everybody in rooms that are supposed to be in rooms? Room two. Is very sad now. Only two people, three people in it. I get Rob, you're supposed to be in two. Yeah, please fix me. Fix me, fix me. There you go. Now two has people. Okay. Okay. Team. I would be able to talk to you. Okay. Um, I know number one. What is it? Hoosiers. <laughs> Hoosiers. Yeah. Which, which in Missouri is a derogatory term for rural people, always preceded by the word fucking. Is it fucking Hoosiers? <laughs> well, you know, I lived a lot in Indiana, and I have asked the question: What is where? Where did the word come from? I guess I could Google it actually, um, but I I don't know what that word means, where it came from. Nobody knows. So, my 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 high school history teacher from Indiana said it means winter, but I don't know if he meant that literally. Winter or winter? Winter, as in people who win. Okay. Um. Number two, baseball weepy plot. Caspian, you know this. I don't watch baseball movies. Did you know all things baseball? They're all horrifically over nostalgic and melodramatic and bore me. Uh, I think that's bang the drum slowly. I haven't seen that. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Did, did you cry, Carl? No. I thought that was a war movie. Maybe I'm completely too. wrong. Maybe I'm completely <laughs> wrong. Which doesn't mean that I I could have I could have that one I could have wires crossed my brain because that title came into my head somehow 
but I don't know how, so I can't really oh, okay. express much confidence in it. Well, unless somebody knows has was arguing with you. So number three is not Formula One racing. It is the Twenty Four Hours of Le Mans. Twenty Four Hours. It's, it's, it's four, well, the movie is Ford versus Ferrari. But it doesn't have anything to do with Formula One racing, really. You never see any Formula One racing, and it's all about Ford beating Ferrari in the 24 hours of Little Mouse. Endurance racing, not Formula One. I thought it had something to do with the companies, and they were like fighting or something. And well, trying to so get Ford money. tries to buy Ferrari. Ferrari screws them over by just using Ford as leverage to get the, the Fiat into the deal. And uh, Henry Ford II got all pissed off. And uh, one of his executives, I think Lee Iacocca, convinced him to basically get Ferrari back by beating them at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Okay. Baseball. Benedict that is Lord. Moneyball. Yep. Okay. Never saw it. Soccer 2002. I, I know believe that that's one. Bend It Like Beckham. Yep. Which I saw on a plane without actually hearing any words. It was I the person know. in front of you? Yep. <laughs> oh, there was a puppy here for a moment. The I, know. Puppy. I know the next one, too. Oh, good. What is it? I think it's called Pre. It's about Prefontaine, and I think it's called Pre. How do you spell I it? I saw it, and I, yeah, I think it was called Pre. Well, I'm sorry, what? How do you spell it? P-R-E. Just three letters. If I have the name, if I remember the name of the movie correctly, his name was Prefontaine, and they call him Pre. And that's an organ, so. Yep, here in Eugene. He passed right. away, so. I know 7, 8, 9, and 10. Well, Fine. I know seven too. Um, okay. Uh, football in prison. Castle. Okay. <laughs> they know it. No idea. Give me an Agatha Christie quote, and I'll tell I you. I saw it at the theater. Wow. What is it? <laughs> Longest yard. Yeah, that is about a prison, right? Isn't it by the same person who did the Green Mile? Um, some Stephen things. King. Yeah, Stephen no, I don't King. think he did the longest yard. Oh, are you mean director or? Oh, writer? I don't remember. It's just they they're associated in my brain. I don't know why. Is the Green Mile about prison too? Yes, yeah, but not. But it's a very different. <laughs> oh, I know, why I'm, so you know why I'm associating it because one's yard and one's mile, and they're both about prisons. <laughs> 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 wow how did that happen so if i come up with a prison moving involving inches uh, <laughs> yeah that. it's schindler no wait 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 shawshank inches <laughs> inches of shawshank okay baseball comedy 1989 doesn't I everyone think, know this one i think that's the scout oh no no just a bit outside major league Oh, God. Possibly the greatest baseball film of all time. Never seen it. Oh, my God. You haven't seen Major League? No. I've seen it. half of it. Oh, my God. Repeatedly. Oh, Who's lots in of it? Tom Berenger, Wesley Snipes, um, Charlie Sheen, Corbin Burnson. But, you know, she left out that movie about what's the movie with um, about the women's baseball league? A League of Their Own. Oh, a League yeah, of Their Own was good. Left that out. What's up, Peggy? You left out a League of Their Own. Well, she couldn't fit them all. I I, I don't really like that movie. Really, oh, I do like it. No. Why not? <laughs> I I can't even express why, but I think it's a Penny Marshall thing. I don't really like her directing. Uh, I I liked it. I haven't well, seen it. Though, when since... I saw it, I liked it. I haven't seen it in probably the, twenty years. The, the, yeah, the premise of Major League. The premise of Major League is this. Uh, a uh, woman owns this baseball team and she hates, she owns the Cle the Cleveland Indians and she hates Cleveland. She wants to move the team, but they've got an ironclad lease for the stadium. And the only way to get out of the lease is if attendance drops to a ridiculously low number. So she, she goes about assembling the team 
of the worst possible players and managers and personnel she can find in hopes of finishing dead last so nobody goes to the games so she can break the lease and leave. I, t- I take it it doesn't like, work. Char- Charlie Sheen's character is in prison when he gets the call that they're interested in him playing for the team. And uh, it, it's with, similar with, to the Ted Lasso plot, too. Yeah, I'm just very, saying. Yeah, it. very similar. And like they're in early in the movie, she's calling up the, her, her general manager is calling up this guy that they want to hire to be the manager of the team. And he's working in a tire store. And he's like, they go, So we want you to manage the Cleveland Indians. And he goes, Oh, I don't know. Hold on, I got someone online too who wants to buy some white wall tires. Let me get back to you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check it out. Okay, number nine, hockey. Kurt Russell. Miracle. What? Miracle. I don't know. Miracle. That. Yeah, miracle. What's the matter? Don't you believe in miracles? Exactly. No, I've never heard of this. I don't remember that. I do know number ten. If you, but Jack and Phil with the lesbian yeah. love story, directed by Robert Town. I yep. no idea. Do you want to say you want to... personal best? Personal best? Yep. Which never if, heard of if it. If you were a big Friends fan and had a great memory, you could learn it just from that because there's a part, episode where there, Ross Ross's wife, ex-wife, who turned out to be a lesbian, that's having a conversation, and they're like, "Weren't there signs? Didn't you know? I mean." She was always working out with that one girl. Like, didn't you ever see the movie Personal Best? And 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 Joey goes, "No, but I'm gonna now." <laughs> Never heard of it. Okay, so I think we did well, Peggy. Yeah, Might have yeah I, I got the right team on my team for this category. Okay. I think apparently Not nine, probably eight, eight to ten. I would say Somewhere movie people. I I was in zero help. I think we got them all. I think no less than eight and possibly ten. I think we got them. Well, I, two, I don't know. That could just be something that Which came in my mind out of nowhere. Wait, so, uh, oh, number two? Yeah. Oh. It could be completely wrong. That could just, I don't know. I, I, I can't. Be I sure think that, that the score in this is, team is doing so well that it doesn't really matter, right? You guys are. In the lead, so it'd be fine yeah. if we got knocked down. Yeah, but, yeah. Hey, uh, I, I thought I think we got nine on that last one. It doesn't matter, but I don't know how you got seven, Carl. I don't know. It was it was hard to score. Yeah, I had yeah. To, I had to stop and really well, go. I, I wait a minute. I had to look at the screen and like hold it there and and really think about it. I was just stupid and didn't understand the whole concept. Well, I just took one out for each one, and and still, we I still uh-huh. felt like we got them three. Oh, you think we got nine in yeah. the correct order? Yeah, it doesn't matter. But um, I was with three strong-willed men <laughs> who all thought they knew the answer. So it was pretty <laughs> interesting. Something about something about some men who are like that. Yeah, they they knew the answers, and I was like. Okay, and they they yeah. had nobody to write down anything. Okay, good good category should be should be relatively easy. <laughs> easy easy to I score mean, easy for other people, not me, because I didn't know any of these. But oh no, that's the original one. Oh okay. Oh, we didn't get this. Well, I, wait, I it's an not answer. necessarily an answer, Susan. That's not the answer to any of these questions. Oh, okay. it has been an answer to one of my trivia rounds. Oh. For the AFI's 100 Greatest Lines, 100 Movies. Yeah, that came out in 1941. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, okay. we can hear you. Number one, who's your... Oh, you get oh. that? Yeah. So, so oh, where was Dennis Hopper? Oh, he was the drunk guy. He's and he almost got an Oscar for that. It's okay. really his costume. I kept saying wow. Gene Hackman's in this movie. I don't. I, and we almost. Yeah, yeah it. but that to me didn't want to give the obvious. Too obvious. Right, right. Thank you. My team. So thank number you. two is Bang okay. the Drum Slowly. Oh, good job. Robert team. De Niro's in that movie. It's a really fun movie. Mm. Sorry, team. It's sad, but sad, huh? Number three is Ford versus Ferrari. Very yeah, good. yeah, that's not we got it right. That's, that's twenty four hours of Le Mans endurance racing. Number four is Moneyball. Money it's satirized on The Simpsons as as Moneyball. 
I just thought that was an interesting <laughs> factoid. <laughs> Number five is Bend It Like Beckham. Yay, oh, Carolyn. So okay. Number six is Without Limits. And I know oh. some of you thought it was Profontaine, which was a different film that came out almost the um, same year. Um, mm. But this one was called Without Limits. And oh, I thought I'd throw in one that was hard, and that was the hard one. I'm sorry. I, I could never draw those with that line. Like it talked us out of Without Limits. Well, you said you and I were. I said it's not like you talked us out of the right answer or anything. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Really, you were haggling over the right Janine, answer. Did you say pre too? Yeah, of course. I mean, I was in Eugene when it happened, so yeah. You don't well, it's, it's 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 about the guy, but it's not that mm -hmm. title. Um, number seven is the longest yard. Number eight is Major League. Just a quote. From oh, Mark I have Burr. seen the logo it, for this just before. Just a bit outside. Mm -hmm. One of the best baseball movies ever. It's really funny. Number nine is Miracle. Ooh, oh, way uh, 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 way to uh, go. Very good. Number 10 is Personal Best. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, fantastic. I think I have heard of that yeah. movie, actually. All right. Did wow. anybody else say the last detail for number two? <laughs> That's, That's a military not. movie. Yeah, it's not a sports movie. Okay. It's military. <laughs> Karen, see it again because it's really good. It's worth seeing. And then you'd remember what it's about once you start yeah. seeing it. Yeah, yeah. I was like seven what years old. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. All right. So let's see how we're doing. I gave you Lee. Did it make a big difference? Trudeau is seeking the seek slayer. slayer. Nine. Nine. Well, that's good. You're bringing oh us an God. average. Lee, you must have done something in there. Stop that count. Stop that count. <laughs> um, grouping vapors. Uh, we had seven. Okay. Tied. Ooh. Orissa Ooh. says farewell, Banu. Hello, Earth. Osiris. Mm. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Nine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. You can tell it's Fetterman's body double if he wears a suit. We had seven. And. The team I was on, which was Peggy's team, don't mention Rupert Murdoch, wink, wink. Nine. What are we going to do tomorrow Ooh. if he dies? If we wake up to find out that he's Dance died. We'll That'd have a hilarious. special Dance trivia and celebrate. We would, we could be and think of the next guy. assassins. We could stop making a list of who we want to put on for next week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and have trivia more often. Yeah, and have Kenny kidding. Biddle investigate us to make sure. This sounds suspiciously like witchcraft. Miss Santos? <laughs> Dark Miss Santos is coming to Salinas next oh, no. oh, yeah, I true. want to see hey. Trump to fight. There's going to be a fight. protest. USC Did fight. you find out where it's at, Karen? They're asking people to gather at Baton Memorial Park, which is there between Salinas Street, Monterey Street, and Market. Oh, that's down the street. At the Gather park with there. batons, she said. You can walk to that from the my baton, house, right? The Baton Death March. There's a memorial to the Baton Death March. Yeah, but it's right here, Karen, right by the. Yeah. So, so what, what is day is this be? happening? Thursday, the 28th. The United Farm Workers are hosting it. I could forward the information to you. Actually, I have a doctor's appointment that day. I have eggs, a doctor's appointment and a lecture and uh trivia and oh my gosh what a but they don't plan it around me right? you live a lot closer too <laughs> but i am right around the corner from that maybe if it's in the morning it, no it's i don't know it's the middle day. of the day i think it's a lunch ah oh. oh. damn it okay thirty three hundred dollars a person he has to come to salinas california to raise money uh, god that pisses me off i wouldn't give him 33 cents i would if yeah. it meant he Bent over to pick it up and something hit him on the no, never mind. I didn't say that. <laughs> you no, we killed one person at night. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. Next, it is we get to find out what's in the box. I want to know what's in the box. What's in Gail's box? Is this a, a question? Or is it a, questions about the Joker? Is no, it about where it cats is sit? Whittler. Places you will find a cat. It's okay. called, I could not figure out a way to put up a, a hint that wouldn't give it away, so I didn't. <laughs> the category is a quiz about me TV programs. Mm. Oh, What's me TV? Uh, that's, that's the first question. Oh, <laughs> yeah. sorry. Sorry. And that's a semi, it is a semi secret, but you will figure it out. 
Okay. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, yeah. you got everybody. The, you got the I suppose so. You got the calm, girl. Over to right. you, as Bill Nye says. Um, mute everybody. Okay, everybody muted. Um, here we go. The first question, as I just already hinted to you, is. Sorry, Gail, I muted everybody, and now you're muted. I muted everybody too, so everybody that didn't work. Muted. It didn't work, so I, I, uh, I, I see. Okay, <laughs> I helped you out. That's why I wasn't muted because I thought that anyway. <laughs> um, the first question is: METV is an acronym for what? And that's not good. Question two. Okay. Andy and Barney do police work, even though the state police don't think they're capable in the first episode. And B comes to live with them, but Opie isn't thrilled about it. What show was this? Question three. One of the characters on the show from the previous question was featured in a spinoff show where one episode was based on a real life experience that Jim Neighbors had when he was best man for his friend's wedding and the wedding ring was lost. What was this show? Four. Probably the best known rags to riches story in television included a real life version where Max Bear Jr. was broke unemployed, and hungry before being cast in this hit comedy. What show was this? Question five. The star of the show in the last question went on to a very different role when his character came out of retirement to be on canon, where his character was introduced. He then had his own show title for that character. Who was this veteran actor who was originally cast in The Wizard of Oz, but had to withdraw for health reasons? In six. This detective series was based on the fiction of Earl Stanley Gardner, where that detective is famous for winning every case, well, almost, what was the show? Question seven. MeTV is offering a coffin full of fun surprises and fan favorite films on special Saturday night specials all through October. What is the title of this series that has been the premier horror show icon of Chicago since the late 1970s? Question eight. The secret force that used sophisticated technology originally led by Dan Briggs although the leader was changed after the first year, to thwart hostile dictators by creating alternate realities to complete the job. What was the title of this series? Question nine. A Western series with a twist. This series follows a man of refined taste who is a former West Point graduate and army officer who always betters the bad guys. What was this series? And number 10.
that in the future, 1983 was the future, a suborbital spacecraft carrying mass passengers from Los Angeles to London crash landed on a planet which is a giant hostile world controlled by an authoritarian government bent on their capture. What was this series? Okay, any questions? Okay. Los Angeles to London? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Go to your room. Well, this looks good. Oh, team, I actually know some of these. Is it just us? No, we don't have very many on our team. Yay! You didn't give us anybody. Okay. And Gail is the... Who did I take care of? Who left this room that was there earlier? Kathy? No. Carolyn. 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 Oh, okay, that's right. Okay. Carolyn left and Gail knows all the answers, but I don't I think she's fly in my room and there and he just went off screen and then now I see that Karen's got one in her room. That is so funny. It went off and then I looked and it's on your uh, <laughs> okay, I, don't know. I know number one. <laughs> I don't know number one. Would Memorable it? entertainment. I use it often to set the oh. timer for my uh land board. Dobie Gillis and and some of these shows. Oh, is it like a is it a not, not Dobie Gillis? I'm sorry, Dobie Gillis is on another one. But anyway, I I use you know. Is it a channel like you turn to? Or? It is. It's a television. Me TV. Do you have to pay for it? Is it like it's a part of the cable package that he has? I've never I've never heard of it before. Okay, now number two, you know, is going to be Mayberry Mayberry, the, right? Isn't it the Andy Griffith show? Oh, the Andy Griffith show. Yeah, you're right. It happens in Mayberry. And then the next one is, um, that is uh, Gomer Pyle, right? Gomer Pyle MC. Who, hey, who's keeping track of our answers? I'm writing stuff down. Gail's apparently not. Oh, I'm but writing I have stuff to down. be over in Word because. No, no, this is good. We're good. Okay. So Gomer number three Gomer. is what? Gomer Pyle. Gomer. How do you spell it? What's, what's. What's number three? Go ahead, Susan. Gomer Pyle. I don't have spell Gomer. it. MC. G-O-M-E-R. Gomer. Second word, Pyle. P-I-L-E. And then the letters MC. Okay. And then is number four, is this uh, Beverly Hillbillies? It is. But if you look at the question, she's looking for the actor's name. Oh, it says what show was this? Number no, four show. Oh, oh, does is it? Oh, okay. It does say what show is this? Susan is right. So it would be Beverly Hillbillies. The, the Beverly Hillbillies. So Janine, so you've never, you don't have never had a TV. So I'm going to tell you this: if someone told you the premise of this show, you would say that there is no way this could have been an evening time aired airing hit, uh, hit series. The concept was people live. I've, in I've seen a little bit of it. Tennessee. I know. I know what it's about because oh, yeah. my grandma had a television. And yeah, isn't that funny? They struck gold, and you have the hillbillies living in Beverly Hills now. <laughs> it was such a stupid show because those people never. It was like you couldn't be, educate people. Like so, yeah, they came from a hick environment. Apparently, you know, with no bathrooms and all that. Okay, got it. My family was raised without bathrooms too but you bring them out i mean they're educatable i mean you're not gonna always believe you have to use an outhouse i mean it was a big hit it was huge it could never air now okay now for number five i wrote buddy epson barnaby That's, jones i put buddy epson are they looking for the character, the, the series, character. or the Who actor? Who was this veteran actor? Buddy Epson. Was Buddy Epson. also originally cast in The Wizard of Oz. Buddy Epson. Was supposed to be the Scarecrow, or was he? Tin Man. But he uh, he got uh, uh, a reaction to the, all the... Uh, tin. They put it all over Oh, him. I had that in a category, like, game three we did or something. So, so B-U-D-D-Y, Epson is A-B-S-O-N. E-P-S-O-N, isn't it? Oh, okay. Isn't it? Maybe. 
Epson. Okay. Um, okay, and this one is going to be um, uh, Perry Mason, Earl Stanley Garner. I almost named Caspian Perry Perry because I went into I went into childbirth and I had to sit there and wait until I dilated, and that was on the TV when I was waiting to get give birth, and I thought, oh, this show is cool, and this must be Elvira number seven, right? I was thinking it was Svengali. Svenguli. I don't know. Ben. I don't, uh, Svenguli? I don't. Svenguli. You would know better than I would. S S. How do you spell it? Give me the spelling. S V E N G L O O L I. He he dresses up like in this kind of crazy, you know, it's kind of like, like what creature feature used to be, but he's like a kind of cartoony, scary guy. So that's a Chicago thing. I guess I guess Elvira was more LA or New York. I don't know. Do we want to put Elvira? No, no, I'm going with Sweet Golly. You're you you watch this channel. I've never heard of it. Yeah, before. I don't watch it, but I, I look for shows to tape for Steve. Mm. Like, I don't watch Perry. I like Perry Mason, but I don't watch it. But I know Perry Mason's on there. I knew that was going to be Perry Mason. Number eight, I don't know. They have Bonanza and they have the Rifleman, but I'm guessing Best in the West? No, that's number eight. We're on eight. Which yeah, I don't know either. I'm guessing yeah. Best in the West. What was the title of the series? Oh, an eight? Best in the West? I'm guessing Best in the West. But I have never actually nine. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right. The Western series with a twist that follows a man or Yeah. Yeah, I think you might be right now that I think about it. That had all that like steampunk kind of stuff. Okay. So what's right? number eight? They were on a train. So so what's number eight? I don't know. It's oh, that's something about some spy thing. I don't know what that is. Can you read it again, Susan, please? The secret force that used sophisticated uh, technology originally led by Dan Briggs, although the leader was changed after the first year, to thwart hostile dictators by creating alternative realities to compete their job. What was the title of the series? Is is this TV show MTV All American TV? Um I don't know. I, I think I you haven't mentioned so far is American. What about the time tunnel? No, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't seen anything that fits this. Well, I was thinking of the Avengers. Yeah, yeah, let's put the Avengers. But that's British. That's okay. Do you think what that'd be on the show, on the channel? I don't know. You, how close are you to Dan? One Can more. I... We have a couple yeah. more. One and a half. I'll close, I'll close the room then. Okay, set in the future, a suborbital spacecraft carrying passengers from Los Angeles to London crash, land on a planet which is a giant hostile world. No idea what's the name of the series. No idea. I wrote down Lost in Space, but Lost in Space didn't crash. It was traveling. Yeah, it couldn't be that. So I have no idea. Janine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why would I know? <laughs> I know. I just thought I'd be I don't know. I just wouldn't be inclusive. Um, 1983 was the future. <laughs> so this is probably from the 50s or 60s. Yeah, most of these shows are from the 50s and 60s. Oh, how about uh, on question eight? Um, the my my favorite Martian? No, 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 that couldn't be it. Yeah. Um. Okay, write down "Lost in Space." We can change it, but I, you know, I, I don't like to have a blank. And for the other one, put "Time Ton." I'll put the Avengers. No, I think nine. you had "Time Tunnel." Is that better? I don't remember "Time." No, tunnel. no, in the event. I don't know. I don't, I forgot. I All have the eight time. is the Avengers. Okay. Eight is the, the Avengers. And 10, you just said lost in space. Yeah, even though that's Incredible. like wrong. Spacecraft. Okay. Passengers to Los Angeles to London. It just is, that premise is so stupid. A authoritarian government bent on their capture. Gulliver's Travels. I mean, what, what, I mean, I have no guess. Los Angeles to London. How could you accidentally crash on a planet? Well, because they would assume you had to go up really high or you got sucked out of the atmosphere or something. 
There's always a story. You don't really you can think make a television story in the line. 60s was all sensible, what do you? The Beverly Hillbilly yeah, season. Exactly. Well, at least that was reality. I mean, they were human. <laughs> Jeez. All right, okay. Gail. You ready for the answer? Yeah, some trick ones. Okay. There. Throwing in with some easy ones. Hmm. I'll put the answers in the chat later, but I do have a PowerPoint I put together. So okay, <clears throat> okay, okay. Question one. Yeah. You... It stands for memorable entertainment television. These are all shows from memorable entertainment television, I and were quoted. I quoted from their website. All right. Okay. okay. Question two. Was the Andy Griffith show? Oh, yay! I spelled it wrong. G R I. F F I T H. That was a great show. And question three was the spinoff from that show, yeah. which was Gomer yeah. Pyle USMC. Golly. United States of America. <laughs> oh, that's see little um you see little Ron Howard there? Yeah, Ronnie Howard. Yeah. He's in the last okay. picture, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yes. Sergeant Carter, Sergeant Carter. Boy, they did question well. four is the Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah, and he's yeah, the you only tell guy story still about alive. a band named Jed. Jed. He's the only one still alive of those four. Mm, keep the country fair. Yeah, question five. Yep, son. Yep. Oh, yeah. E B S O N. Yeah, boy. Barney, B Barney B. Jones. And I, I was trying to, to not give you too much information by telling you the name of the show, but you all knew it. Yeah, question yeah, yeah, six yeah. was Perry Mason. And I said almost because he actually did lose one case. But yep. he only and lost it, it because his client was faking who he was. And, and so it, 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 it threw, really threw, threw me off, <clears throat> Gail. It threw me off because he was a lawyer, not a detective. Uh, that's why I wasn't sure when I wrote it down. Wow, that was loud, Rod. And and you were a, a you went to law school, and you should know that. Uh, except that it was a detective show. More, it was. Well, it was, but he wasn't a detective. Yeah, and, and wasn't the detective, but yeah I was thrown off by the de word detective there because. Yes. Anyway, no, it's no, fine, it's, but I just want to point it out. That's all. These are I, all the the out of the this is the way and, and, and MeTV describes it. Well, so. write them a letter and tell them that they've messed up. Oh, and you did one. Good, good job, Karen. What the hell is that? Never heard. I've never, heard I've never, I've never heard of that one or seen he's, it. He's like, he's like, I'm pleased. I've never heard of that. Never heard of it. He does similar to Elvira, but. Ever. Without the breasts, yeah. he throws yeah. rubber chickens at people. It's, it's really silly. <laughs> buddy. Rubber chicken. Look at my rubber chicken right here. Look at it. Oh, like look at that. So cute. Aww. We were and it is with... currently doing a big free Halloween special thing. Oh, he's Halloween, I... right? Scary. We guessed at this one. We got it right. No yeah, same idea. Here. Look at those people. I'm hoping the last God. one got right. Look at those good looking people. Oh, look at those suits. They're so I, nice. The spot on the left. So I, I take things too literally. I would have never gotten this on my own because I was literally thinking alternate realities that they were doing I something. I don't think that's from. actually it's Spock. Crazy, really. No, it's the guy who played Spock. <laughs> I, I'm joking, Kevin. <laughs> he doesn't have the ears on. That's an alternative. That would be funny. Oh, 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 oh. I, I thought this was Wild Wild West. Uh, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Well, we didn't yeah, really yeah, believe it. But <laughs> that was a good show, too. Paladin. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. And number 10, I think, was the hardest one. I never saw this show, but. I see. Oh, my it. God. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I almost caught it. I said, is it gold Goals? <laughs> I got into a mode where I was looking at the pilot episodes of old shows, and I watched that one. I think it was just last week. I, that's unbelievable. Wow. Oh, my God. The special I did. effects I are kind of cool on that one. They're always hiding behind the giant cat. symbols Look, and stuff. I guess that's one of my cats. Well, how did my <laughs> cat get into in that bottom. picture? <laughs> oh, Time my travel, God. Deborah. I guess so. Can you imagine the prop, prop maker it says, okay, we need an outlet that is about this big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The whole show's like that. It's hysterical if you watch them. They yeah. hide behind thimbles and yeah. spools of thread and they run and the mouse will chase them and the mouse is like bigger than they are. Oh my gosh. All they got to do is land on the, go from from LA to London. They went to another the planet. Pilot, huh? That's kind of right like um, um, that you know, Gilligan's Island only with spaceships. Sorry. This is, this is the most lost anyone that. ever got. I've seen that show. 
I have seen it too, but yeah. did I or did I not say is it's it Gulliver's, Gulliver's Travels? Gulliver's yeah. Travels. <laughs> I don't know where well, the hell I got that. Something deep in we'll, my neurosis we'll had it in there. Well, if you watch MT, if you watch me TV, you, you knew most of these. No. Yeah. Uh, Gail, can you get rid of your screen? Oh, sorry. It's a nice screen. Gracias. That was very good. I those I had to write down a couple of things. I'm gonna have to go relook at someday because those are. Wow, I haven't. Jeez. Never had ever heard of Sven Gulli. Neither yeah, have I. Yeah. I think I know why. He's scary hell. He, he's I'm really pretty doing. silly. I, just, I have a season pass in my DVR that records it every Saturday. <laughs> On purpose? Yeah. My, my brother in law has the shirt. And we <laughs> sent his picture in just so we could be movie. on TV. Uh, you just ignore the dude and you just go to the horror. Yeah, movie. He's entertaining. He does he does a lot of Perry Mason jokes, believe it or Answers, not. Answers, please. I mean, certainly I prefer Elvira. please. <laughs> All right. So getting to the score is right off the bat. So Kat's probably going, what the hell? These people just sit and argue all day. Yes, that's true. <laughs> we, we save up all our We're it's doing the this social as a favor part, part to, this is part of what we're doing for society is we get all, all of our arguing. We save it up so that we can do this. No, we don't. Night. Yes. <laughs> no, we don't. Like yes, we do. No. Yes. Flagellants, <laughs> the people who scourge themselves in order to absorb the, all the pain of living so that other people don't have to suffer it that, that's, not to be confused with that's, uh, that's an episode of night gallery called sins of the fathers <laughs> you have to Christy eat the too. sins of your father I just don't remember which one all right so team number one groping vapors what do you got uh five i think yes we had five Stop back yeah. out. Stop back out. i know is seeking the six sayer slayer Nine. Nine. Oh, oh, look oh. Down. Who is it on your team that was really into that? Two of us. Yeah, Ke Kevin and Cindy did awesome. Wow. I have it. Cindy, I have MTV. I watch it on my digital know. antenna. Mm. All right. So you can tell it's Fetterman's body double if he wears a suit. This is the team I was on. Seven. Seven. Okay. Respectable. Um, and considering there's only three of us. And Osiris says farewell, Benu. Hello, Earth. Eight. And enjoy the lead for the moment. Let's see what happens with Ruber Murdoch. And oh, oh. 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 watches it. God oh. watches it. Oh. Come on. Hate you. Gun will it? travel was the one that stumped me. You're you're the team that's yeah, not we supposed didn't to get win. That one it's supposed to be the Carl knew that one. Yeah. Oh. And I've seen it. I just didn't click. I thought it was Wild Wild West. I put Wild Wild West first, but then I pivoted. Pivoted? I didn't see a pivot. Did you do that like a pivot? Pivot. Was a pivot. 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 <laughs> All right, Kevin. <laughs> it's a friend's reference. Kevin. Okay, I gotta show find us what it. you got with a bonus round. Okay. This is different, Cat, than the other four categories. This is like he's going to give us one thing, and we have to do ten things. Okay. You gotta cut and paste it. It's fast. This is, it, it's, it's a very called, bonus thing. This is called After the Beatles. Ooh. After oh. the Beatles broke up, they had individually 17 number one hits by former Beatles. Ooh, name great. 10 of them. Okay. Go to your rooms. <laughs> ah. Okay. They totaled 17. Oh, I send you to your rooms. <laughs> I, have, I have a question before I go to my room. Yep. Um, some some Beatles played in other bands. That doesn't could matter as long as they weren't the Beatles. Oh, okay. so it could be somebody else. Okay, it could it could be another band. Makeup. It could be a duet. It could be another band. It could not not just not solo stuff. Okay, it could be the solo stuff. Or in could, fact, but not could just that. everything. They, if you looked at individual people, they had. 17 number ones after they broke up as the Beatles. Oh, man. Okay. Name 10 of them. Okay. Oy. What in the world? Okay. 
Mm-hmm. They had a couple of hits. Yeah. George Pearson had one as well. I don't know that Ringo ever hit number one. I don't even yeah. know if he stayed in the music business. He did wow. because I saw him in concert. Ringo Starr and his all star band. But oh. I don't know that he had any oh, number ones. He on played, his but he played with that band made up of like Willie Nelson. Um, I, hey, Kevin, we need you. <laughs> um, the traveling Wilburys. I think. Oh, that's right. I really love the traveling know. Wilburys. They did. Did um, Ringo Starr play with them? Or, yeah, I don't think so. What it was, um, Roy Orbison, yeah, mm-hmm. George Harrison, really? So it still yeah. qualifies because ex Beatle, yeah, okay. So Un-Beatle. I had that CD, it was really good. What was yeah, it? Yeah, it did well. Mm. I can't think of any songs from it though. If somebody started the song, I I would be like, I could finish it. Um, <laughs> I know we had some of the Paul McCartney stuff that he recorded with Wings, wings. Um, but I don't remember which one became a hit from it, that group. Can we name any of them? Okay, so the traveling did very famous song, um, called "She's Hummet." Hummet. Yeah, like mm-hmm. oh, hum it, um, mm. it. <laughs> I thought that you're trying to give me the name. I'm like, oh, hum it. hummus, <laughs> silly In love life. songs, silly love songs. That's one of the wings. Silly love songs. Yes, yeah, silly love songs. Yeah, that's good. That's with wings. That's the one I was trying to wrap my head around. Nice to done. And imagine. Mm-hmm. Did. There must be another uh John Lennon has John to Lennon. Have had more than that. Yeah. He probably had a lot a lot more hits. Yeah. Um, um the one to his um The you. Ballad of John and Yoko. Oh, that's probably one, yeah. And what was the other one I was thinking of? My brain, it is way too late for me to be this stupid. I'm my brain, my brain's <laughs> this is how I am the whole game. It doesn't matter what time it is. This is the yeah, all cat. Time. There's a thing that any because Susan always goes and replaces the person that does all the questions. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm here. Team. Yeah, that's I'm why she's here. Welcome. Give yeah, us some answers. You. And there, so and there is, but that's, I forgot I didn't explain that to you. That's why I'm here because um, uh, Kevin's and, not here. And she has a reputation of the team that always gets Susan usually scores the lowest. And she started taking keeping <laughs> track of it. <laughs> look at we started out thing. badly and, and we went from last place oh, to third place. So come on, let's like no, no help. We just the, up. But it, the reason why the score is always the lowest when I'm in here is because the person who wrote the category is the person who should be here. So mm-hmm. I'm always substituting for the person who knows the answers. Yeah. So so it's 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 Yes, I always tank the teams, but it's not me. It's just that because no, the best person who should be here isn't here. And the person who does it doesn't try and take into account what Susan knows. And I also okay. like to, I know they're stupid. What are they thinking? All right, so let's How many do it's we have so far? Three. We've got three. Yeah. Imagine so, Silly so- Love Songs and The Ballad of John and Yoko. So what were some of the other songs that John Lennon became well known for okay. oh, we had his albums as a kid i just can't even think of any right he he, he wrote one to lord. julian okay. what was that lee my sweet lord was george harrison yeah but i thought well, that was during the beatles no let it be been after the beatles because it I don't was think after george the beatles. Harrison oh, got oh, really oh, 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 oh you guys live and let die oh of course dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, that's paul dun, dun. mccartney yeah i got an answer Hey, Susan. Oh, yes, Susan. I had one earlier tonight too. You got to check the tape. So I've got. You know, <laughs> I'm like on a roll or something. They were at five. Okay, John Lennon okay. wrote a song for Julian. He did. Yes. Was right. Was it just called Julian? Ormison. Let's. I'll write it down. It's better than nothing. 
the the traveling traveling Wilburys. Wilburys oh no that wasn't the name of the song that was the name of the group I, I'm really trying to figure out because that, that there was a really big song from the Traveling Wilburys. It's At you, least one. Yeah, I remember th- there really was. Was it big something one, to but... do with buttons or or something to do with the past or? I don't think so. Are you trying to cold read us? <laughs> <laughs> that was so like that. To you cat never, ever. Why am I getting? Why am I getting? No. Um, <laughs> Okay, so there's got there's 17 you guys. We should be able to name these. They're okay. number one hits. John Lennon wrote a song about Yoko. Oh no. And I think it was called Woman. Is really yes. I'm, I'm, Woman I'm going to say love. you have to name the title, but if you don't know the title, you have to sing the song. <laughs> and if you sing the song enough words, I say, okay, they know they know the song. Okay, okay. No, you no, because no, some of the help. titles might be, you know what I mean? We're, we're we're working really hard on the Roy Orbison, the Traveling Wilbury song, but I can't even think of the yeah, song. Yeah, you know, you're thinking Tom Petty. The, the, there was no number one song there. There was Tom oh. Petty was in that, wasn't he? Yeah, but Tom he Pepe, but, and, Rose, and, and, uh, and Bob yeah, Dylan, but they didn't have Bob a number Dylan. one song. Oh man, You're knocking up the wrong tree. Thanks. Oh. We were, <laughs> I thought they did. Tom Petty was because, in that. That's right. Travel. But maybe maybe they okay. just became famous because they had a woman lot was of- definitely a hit. Maybe. Was Which My one? Sweet Love a hit? Woman? Woman? Just put it by John Lennon. Don't got nothing. <laughs> oh, My, my sweet, sweet Love. I was. It's My Sweet Lord, I think. My. Yeah, that's what Lee said. Yeah, it's Lord. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's Lord what I got written down. Oh, that's I thought love. that was during the Beatles when yeah. they were Beatles. Yeah. So. yeah. No, no, because I don't think George Harrison got real religious until after the Beatles. Like, no, he man. did My, my Guitar Gently weeps but that was with the beatles i think my sweet lord was after the beatles how do we only have six because the beatles didn't get real religious they got kind of eastern but they didn't get real christian religious right um oh band on the run oh yeah that's a band on the run who did that yeah wings paul mccartney and wings oh i didn't know that we got seven out of ten. Oh my god! I've got eight because I put woman down as well. I don't know if that was one. Oh, <laughs> it is one. It is one. Okay, so I've got Imagine, Silly Love Songs, The Ballad of John and Yoko, My Sweet Lord, Live and Let Die, Julian, Woman, and Band on the Run. And the Julian, oh, of write, course, we don't know, right? I didn't write down That's Julian, fine. but yeah, yeah, I and I couldn't even hum it. So mm. Julian, oh. yeah, it never heard of keep it. Keep going though with it. <laughs> Because you're you know the song I'm talking about. Never heard of it. <laughs> you haven't heard of it? Good. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Um can I Google I think a thing? The I'm Wings Google did a it. song called Jet. Something yes. Jet. Oh. Jet? Do 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 Jet. That's do, right. Do, do, do. Oh, good, Cindy. Good, oh, so good. we can sing it. So that, that if that's one of the songs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, hey, Pat's got all... it. Something, I, yeah, I think it's some, something, and then at the end, at the sentence is Jack, because that was a, a name for the a person in that song. But Jen, I don't think it's the... So Ringo cool. never had anything, right? I don't think he had any hits. He just did that. He just did that movie. Ringo Starr and his All Star Band. I have a concert T-shirt, but I don't think that'll get us extra points. <laughs> you have a what? Concert, concert T-shirt. <laughs> um, John Lennon. Where the hell's my ex? Because he was such a Beatles fanatic that he would have had this down. Richard 10 Saunders ago. would be on this too. He loves the Beatles. He would be. Yeah. Uh... Oh my gosh. Yeah. One of my mom's exes loves the Beatles. I saw we got introduced to the Beatles when he married, when they married. And he's when he introduced us to wings. So there's probably a bunch more hit songs from wings. Cause they were. I would think they were huge. prolific than I thought. Mm-hmm. Oh, they were, they they were very Paul prolific. McCartney. Yeah. I can't believe he's still around. Paul oh, yeah. Someone's knocking at the door. Someone's ringing the bell. the bell. Someone's knocking at the door. Well, you guys can sing that at that not Open the, the door the song. and so let him in. The category karaoke, right? I know. <laughs> so, what was, so what is the name of that song? 
someone's knocking at the door is that i think pain? okay that's good adrian where'd you pull that out you just answered the door and it was there <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to think songs, right? I mean, just, I'm, I'm wow, surprised it's good. not easier because these songs are really big. <laughs> and I know John Lennon had a lot more hits. I mean, you just yeah. can't remember them. Yeah. Because he was very socially conscious. So was yeah, his, yeah. And he was writing during the 70s. And I mean, that, when he was assassinated, that album came out right after was he was it, assassinated. I, it, 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 and there were chance. a lot of top songs that came off of that. Was it 81 Give or 82? Piece of died? Chance, one of them. What was it? Sorry? What is it? What did you say, Cat? Give a chance. Yeah. What's it called? Give oh, peace a chance. We are oh. saying is give yeah. peace a chance. chance. Good job, Cat. Man, let me think. Okay, we've got ten. <gasps> no, I think they mixed eleven. I I don't I think the Julian, Julian one is the yeah, right name Julian though. Yeah, I was gonna say let's take Julian off. Yeah. And use... Because we didn't know what the name of the song was. We... Right. Okay. Oh, we Kevin can. will know. Yeah. And if Kevin really liked me and wanted to welcome me into this whole trivia thing, he would tell me the proper name of that song. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> we're being recorded. The one that John to. wrote for Julian. <laughs> we can't. We can't. Because we're recording. I, I can't. I know you're cheating. But you know the song I'm talking about, right? And, and I'm not, not sure. making this up. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. So He wrote a song for Julian while he was in the Beatles. It's called Hey Jude. Yeah. But that was he was in the Beatles, so that doesn't count. That's for not the one I'm thinking of, though. Oh, okay. I'm not so, sure. Hey, Jude is a love song. You're telling this guy how to love this woman. I thought it was just son. It's about Julian, his son. Jude. He called Julian Jude. So uh, give your two minute warning, Kevin. Yep. Two minute warning. Yeah, we may Did not have that? all. Is it there all yet? Number one songs, but at least we have ten songs. Yeah, we yeah. got ten songs, <laughs> and we could sing them if we Which, have to. So at the good. beginning, when we only had like one for a while, I was yeah. Did you, get the, <laughs> did you did you hear my alarm clock going off at all all night? It's been going do 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 do. That's one of the songs. No, Mister Susie, Uncle John, Martin Luther, Phil and Don. You don't know that song. Yeah, but I know the song. I don't recognize the name. Auntie of it. Jen, open the door. Oh yeah, that's the one. We, we got that one. We got that one. But we, okay. we were singing yeah. a different line. I don't know if you got the title of it right, but that's why well, we know, we're we going to sing it. it. We can yeah. sing it, so we're okay. <laughs> Some people yeah, we know it. I do not. <laughs> open the door and let him in. Yeah, you went down that Wilburys path. Uh, they didn't have a number one. Oh, but, interesting. But they had a couple. Of, they had a couple of big hits. They had the but Royal not Opus number ones. Um, yeah. Oh, Ring, the the Ringo song? never had a number one, did he? Okay, Ringo, I can look Ringo, it up Ringo, now. Yeah, three. We've already got Ringo had three. Ringo had three. Ringo had three. Ringo had three. Ringo. Wow. With Ringo Starr and the All Star Band. Wait, no, 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 no. Right after the Beatles broke up, they all had within a year or two, they all had a number one song. Really? I, I think well, they Ringo broke had up before I existed. Ringo had two or three. So. No, Ringo had two. I'm sorry, Ringo had two. Still, Ringo that's more than two. we thought. Two. <laughs> I'm looking and I've seen him in concert. Oh, All I, I want not... is a photograph, and you're 16. You're beautiful. You're my. Oh, I remember oh. that. Yeah, that was Ringo. Ringo. Huh. Yeah, I think he kind of had like bubblegum pop songs. Mm -hmm. And photograph. All mm -hmm. I want is a photograph. Uh, Handle. Yeah, I, I now John that Lennon you, had three. Yeah. And Only then, three. Uh, We're screwed. I thought you. Yeah. <laughs> George Harrison had three. Well, we got a George Harrison. Hopefully, it's the right one. And, and all the rest of Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney had nine. Uh, Jesus, you better. We thought. <laughs> we we hope <laughs> we're ready to sing. <gasps> yes, let's sing. Oh, this is Peggy's scream. Hey, Peggy, why are you oh. showing us your answers? I was like, <laughs> oh, only ten on there. I just yeah. Thanks, Peggy. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> we're in pain. We love you, Peggy. Okay. Brain hurts. What do you got there, Kevin? You're muted. Yeah, Kevin, you're muted still. Kevin, are you still talking? You're muted. You. I've been talking for a while. So, <laughs> if you're like two, maybe, huh? If you look in Billboard and you looked up each individual artist, you would find out how many number ones they had. And uh, I'm going to do by um, the first one is going to be Ringo. Ringo had two. 
and they are where's my chat button two. how do i send a chat ringo had two photograph and you're 16 oh Oh, I oh, knew okay. he did something else. And okay. I was singing out loud the other day at the top of my voice to your 16. And I suddenly thought, this is really creepy. And I yep. never realized <laughs> we that. We thought before. the same thing about your 16. <laughs> <laughs> All right. John Lennon had three. Double Fantasy, Imagine, and a song called Walls and Bridges. Oh. Beautiful Boy didn't make it. No. Never heard of it. Oh, that's a song you were thinking of, Kat. Beautiful Boy. That everyone sh song. everyone should look up the song Beautiful Boy. It's wonderful and it is uh where the the lyrics where the phrase comes, life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. It's a precious song. Uh, George it's, Harrison it's had wonderful, three. Wonderful, but I could not, right. not remember the name of it. <laughs> George Harrison had three. Got my mind set on. Got my mind set, got my mind oh, set on. Oh, that's a Roy Orsberry song. I mean, that's the Traveling Wilbur. That's the song. It goes. Um, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't Traveling Wilbur. That's the song, uh, right? But it's a song. But, but say Traveling them for the recording, Kevin. Say them. Got my mind set on you. Give me love. Give me love. Give me peace on it. That one and my sweet <laughs> lord. And it uh, said for some reason it's called right, my sweet right, lord. Isn't it a pity? I thought my sweet lord was Beatles, but ah, uh, sweet. Very good. Nope, that was that was strange. And then Paul McCartney had nine. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he was well, he lived longer too. Wow. He's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. And so was Ringo. So was Ringo, and, yeah. Say, say, say. Yeah. Coming up. Ebony and Ivory. Oh, yeah. Silly love, oh. Ivory. Silly love songs. <gasps> just the silly love song. With a little luck. Oh, and yeah. band on the run. Yeah, we got that. My love. My love. Listen, listen to yeah. what the man said. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And the last one, Uncle Albert. Oh, oh my God. God. Open the door, oh, I... let him in. That's oh, we call Uncle it. Albert because we're going to yeah. sing it so that we could. We you have to sing it if you want the point. We already sang it on the video. But all oh, on the video. Go ahead. Go ahead. Start it off. Somebody sing it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Open the door, let him in. Wow. Yep. Uncle Albert, Auntie Jen, something something. Open the door. Let in. No other names. Nothing in the door. Well, those are the seventeen. We'll take it. <laughs> we sang it <laughs> farther than that last a minute ago. The uh, the theme from um, one of the James Bond movies. Someone said, "I don't think yeah, that we were living, living like that." I, don't I, think I just looked it up. Movie. It hit number two. Yeah, oh, it didn't hit number one. You know, no, I, I didn't. Mind. I didn't know number there was a song chart. called Double Fantasy. I thought that was the name of an album. So thank you. I'm gonna look that up. Thank you for turning me on to it. Yeah, I think you probably heard the song if you didn't know, just didn't know that oh, that it was know. called that. You know, a lot I mean? of turning on here tonight. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Wow. That well, was, I hope you like that because that was fun. Done the Beatles in a while. Someone did some Beatles categories, and I was just hoping this hadn't been done. I didn't remember it being done. Yeah, and the same thing with Walls and Bridges. I I knew it was an album, but I didn't know it was songs. So I'll check them out. Mm. I would have thought John Lennon had more, but they didn't go to number one. Wasn't alive for as long either. Well, that's true. Okay, scores. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm gonna have to look up a bunch of these. These look good. All right, so you guys went through and figured out what your scores are. Oh, I am not going a dime further until I have next week covered. Jamie has volunteered for next week. I, I'm yep. all ears. I can do one. Okay, who are you? Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is he? He's out bird sitting or something. I have <laughs> well, well tonight you said birds. Rob, so Kyle is you know, Carl is Rob and Kyle. <laughs> Joe Bob. <laughs> Wait a minute. Has Leonard ever done one? Yes. I think he has. Well, I have not did. not in a while, but I have. Oh, been so did you were you volunteering Leonard for next week? No. I'm volunteering Leonard. 
He did the highest man-made things or something like that once. I've done a few. That was one of them. Yep. Yep. I remember that one. Okay. I'll volunteer. All right. Robin's taking one on. Okay. Next. And I needed a bonus. Well, I have a bonus. I haven't done one in a while. Okay. Rob's got a bonus. I need one category. God, you guys, I'm pulling, pulling like pulling teeth. I just have to check my calendar. Caspian, you're gone, right? What's that? Caspian's gone that week, right? I'm gone part of the week, yes. When you fly so out. So I could do one if you wanted. Okay. Adrian, oh. is nobody else wants to take it because Adrian sounds like she's doing it because she wants to be counted on. <laughs> so earlier in the year, in February, I was invited to go to a place in New York City to photograph um john john lennon's uh, son there julian mm -hmm. and and yoko ono and paul Schaefer's band mm -hmm. and then somebody mm -hmm. got covid and canceled the whole thing and i never got to go i was so bummed oh. they owe you. yeah if it happens again they'll invite me again but it hasn't been rescheduled and yoko's really bad now she's in a wheelchair oh, oh there was a really interesting article about her in the washington post wait a she minute was Kevin, Kevin you just, just said Yoko Ono. Oh, no. Do that somehow. I'm sorry. Thanks, Kevin. Would you go do that? Thanks, before? Kevin. Don't you say it, Peggy. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut, Peggy. Come on. Peggy's the one that has to put the icing I'm on. I'm serious. The cake. It's Peggy. She's the, the one. Way. She might be caught with. Dare take the her. Spell on it. <laughs> Jeez, Peggy. My gosh. Sorry, Kevin. Peggy. I'm sorry. It's gracious. I How's can't Trump doing? Guys, anywhere. <laughs> okay <clears throat> so now we need to have scores so what do we add here 27 27 to 36 so we're going to start with groping vapors uh, i think we had three <laughs> wow that's lame okay. i know <laughs> what is this, At least you hit 30 you hit 30 <laughs> okay. we haven't even had any other scores yeah that's true Okay, so that we'll we'll live with that, and then we're going to go down here to you can tell us Fetterman's body double if he wears a suit. Good five five. Isn't it and the most cut, stupid? And we cut thing? out two winners. Oh, oh. that's lame. Sorry, <laughs> my fault. Thurdeau is seeking the seek sayer, and that's Kevin's team. So how do how do they do? Five. Not too bad. We hummed a lot. <laughs> we did. <laughs> I got five. Nice of you to say five is not we, too bad. We got to listen to a duet with Robin and Corey. So Ooh. Ooh. Oh. that was nice. Okay. Osiris says farewell, Banu. Hello, Earth. I believe we got six. Oh, Ooh. good job. You know your Beatles. Okay. Stop Let's the see what this snobby, snobby group over here did. Don't look okay. at <laughs> Zero. Seven. Ooh. Good job. Seven, huh? Who's the that's Beatles a, fan on that team? That's a runaway. That was a good team effort that time. Yeah. Mm. Well, whatever. Except for me. Mm. You didn't know any <laughs> Caspian was Beatles? supporting by just being there. Caspian I... was the control group. <laughs> the yeah. control group. <laughs> <laughs> if Caspian hasn't heard of this, then it's probably no, he knows his Agatha Christie and he's gonna do a category in Agatha Christie. No, he's gonna Agatha you have Christie. all the slots filled, or it's gonna be uh, uh lines from Father Ted. Famous Agathas. Agatha Christie <laughs> as Famous portrayed in Punch and Judy. <laughs> so this supposedly, I see this, I haven't looked it up yet. So this is a DeSantis ad. Can you read that? Oh my God! What? God what over government. Oh my what? God! Oh, oh God over. Oh my God. Where? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> which God? Which God? Well, uh, that was actually the first comment on Facebook. <laughs> Are you oh, showing said, your oh my screen God. or something? Or was Where's I supposed to? Didn't you already? Say no, it? I just tell my phone. I got posted. Oh, from, oh okay. I mean, All right. no, I got to check that so, this is real. Uh, Mark did not pick the right winner tonight. Sorry. In fact, you are actually you came in second place, the team that Mark picked. So not so oh. horrible. Not oh. so bad. All right, everybody. Well, except that the team that won blew everybody away. 
Well, mm-hmm. like 33 to 38. Like, no, come on. Yeah, like movies. I said. We had a movies and a TV mm-hmm. round. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you guys actually Beatles. come up with something a little more obscure. Bats was really good, except that I, was, Bats was good. Bats well, was that's great. Why, I mean, I, I I tried with the distances between the cities because I didn't that, think was really was, that, that was really good. That was a good one. That was a really. I, 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 I will say that was a good one that I just okay. knew almost nothing of. Like, ah, oh, that's oh, an even better one. On that. Okay. Yeah, that's even better. All our points were everybody else. Mostly cast. Well, the score, the the bat one. I'm doing from St. Louis. See if he can get anywhere. Anyway. Bats did, bats did, um, and movies about sports both got the same score, eight point two. Randy's mm-hmm. looking spooky, actually. For well, she's in a spooky mood. What's going on? What's going on there? It's like black, the black the aura around you. The Beatles went black aura shot. around you. I had to yeah. turn my light off. I was getting spooky. a headache. Oh. I put a link in there, and I recommend everyone listen to that song. Okay. okay. I put it up on my YouTube. All right. Good night, all. All right, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. You guys. Great being here. Thank I'll you. talk to you guys next week. Thank you so much for being a present. And thank you all for helping me at the very beginning. When yeah, we let us know how that goes. Oh, my Lord. I'm I'm still nervous about <laughs> oh, this Oh, sweet Lord. We'll Bye. hear all about it next week. Oh, yeah, you will. 